Last session, the Silver Seven continued their foray into Castle Ravenloft, the home of the vampire lord, Strahd, whom they are intent on defeating. After a battle with the castle's master of the hunt, accompanied by his fierce hellhounds, the party decided to risk continued exploration of the catacombs. They made their way into the tomb of Strahd's brother, Sergei, and took his magical armor, leaving Claire's armor there in its place. Now they stand with but one final task. They must defeat Lord Strahd von Sarovich himself, or have their souls forever trapped in this cursed realm. Luckily, they have now destroyed the Heart of Sorrow, a magical construct which seemed to prevent Strahd from taking any damage. The battle was not easy, though, as multiple members were thrown from the stairs, left to fall hundreds of feet to a stone floor below. Thankfully, quick reflexes and two slow fall spells kept them from taking any excessive damage. During the fight to disable the heart, the party was beset upon by Rahadin, Strahd's seneschal, who orchestrated the genocide of his own dusk elven kind. He was defeated, but not before Jeswalda was brought to death or brought near to no, death no, no, a number no, of no, times. No. But thanks to the efforts of all, none passed beyond the veil of life this time. Now you all stand on a stone landing high within the lower spire of Castle Ravenloft. Far below lies the ruined shards of the Heart of Sorrow, damaged beyond repair. Strewn about are corpses of three vampire spawn, mingled with the blood of Rahadan, as well as your own. Silver Seven, the spotlight is on you. Um, having uh, just taken the life from Rahadin, um, I'm going to ask Alimus if he would search the body in case there is anything useful on his person. <laughs> I would do so, and I think if I remember rightly, I've still got detect magic, have I not? Or not? No, oh. no, I wouldn't have. I never realized how awful eating potions taste. Yeah. Uh, ah. Shocked up with how many he had on him. Well, I, well, yeah, I think when you drink that many, it doesn't really help. Just it, it seems to help, but I do not feel good. Yeah, yeah, I'm right there with you. That yeah. was not pleasant. Yeah, was, not Maris pleasant. looks around and says, "Does anybody else need any healing?" I say, "What happened to your voice, Maris?" I've got a cold. Oh, she's she got the Rona. <gasps> oh. Mm. Oh, is not. anybody speaking? Is anybody anybody not at full? I'm only full. I'm now. actually now I'm not at exactly at full. full. All right. Well, she's going to do a. I, she's going to start a prayer of healing. Oh, because awesome. um, I am at less than a third. What does more. prayer of healing do again? Uh, I'm about to throw it up. It's like two d eight, I think. Gross. Yeah. Uh, she's going to do a second level. No. She's going to do a third level prayer of healing. So it takes ten minutes, correct? Right. So she begins this immediately. All right. Um, is that the sort of thing that she can do while we're on the move, or um, do Don't we know. have to stay put, DM? Uh, if you were interrupted by anything, um, she would have to. She loses the spell. Well, well, maybe I should wait until we're sitting casting, someplace but... that's, uh, that's. I think we need to not be in this location. Yeah. All right. Do you okay, have, I'll save it then. Do you have a low level healing spell like the ones you um, used before? I do. Can you cast it back into this ring? Because it's a lifesaver. I look at Jeswaldo. Absolutely, uh, and she'll do uh, first level cure wounds into the ring. Okay. Cure wounds, okay. Uh, it'll probably be better with the other one. The bonus action one, healing word. Bonus action one, yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Then she does healing words instead. Yep. Okay. Um, and DM, I can click on the abilities, but I can't click off the spell slots. Um, I can make notes here for her, but if you want to take care of that. Uh. All right, I, know, I guess suppose we need a place to that we feel is reasonably safe to do a prayer of hearing. Um, up or down? Um, Are we... Piddlewick. Oh yeah, Piddlewick kind of comes in. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, really. Piddlewick. And he kind of jumps about, does it, tries to do a backflip, but kind of just lands on his head perpendicular onto the ground and his legs kick around for a second before he just falls over looks up at you 
question for you. Um, do you by any chance know um, where Strahd keeps things that are valuable or dangerous? Say, a sword made of light? It's very odd, because as he looks, you'd say there are these sort of glowing eyes, but the jack-o'-lantern face, you know, he's painted sort of a um, jagged grin upon his uh, face, and then the um, eyes are, the uh, with smeared charcoal, look um, almost just like vertical triangles, and he stands there, expressionless, and then just no. says no, but then raises his shoulders. Okay, that's maybe. fair. Um, alternatively, somewhere that we could maybe take 10 minutes to rest unimpeded or somewhere that we're not going to get eaten or attacked. I don't know. He, um, kind of scratches the top of his head and then does a little whoop, whoop, whoop spin on one of his, uh, uh, on a foot, almost like a little pirouette and then lands in a ta-da pose in front of you. Like here? Are you here? saying here? Then he does a little, um, he does it again. Spin, 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 spin. Ta da! Up or down. And then just starts to do a little dance around you, Claire. That's incredibly helpful. I well, don't know, guys. I think we should go down because if something comes at us from below, then we have no place to go. That's fair. Um, although it looks like, um, and I take a peek down this area, um, it looks like we could descend either in this chamber or perhaps over there. Um, did either, um, and I'll direct this question in character to Maris and Ethelflaed, but sort of more generally, did either of them see anything as far as entrances, exits when they hit the floor down below? Um, Maris would have landed um, in a... Oh, no, Ethelflaed didn't fall. Yeah, uh, Akantha fell. Akantha fell, sorry. Akantha 18. fell halfway. Um, and she actually fell only about 60 feet down. She wouldn't have okay. been able to see the bottom of the uh, bottom of the stone. Maris made it all the way down, and she saw a um, stone passageway with... Um, or a stone room sort of the same general shape as this tower with a um, stairway and a wooden banister leading further downward and then okay. two other um, stone carved passageways uh, masonry passageways leading to different locations okay I think we should go the way Rahadin came from so through this passageway out here and then um, down the stairs all right Let's give that a shot. Um, oh, does uh, does Alimus find anything on Rahadin's body? Yes, do I find anything? Um, besides the um, the fine clothes and his scimitar, uh, just a belt upon which are attached uh, five darts. They look to be coated in some type of um, liquid. The the um, the tips of the darts have sort of an oily black sheen to them. Um, pass them off to someone who might be able to use them. I like darts. Take them. Yep. Great. Yeah. Have them. I don't like them. I'll take, I'll how, we'll how take the other stuff as well. How many darts were there? Five. Just five dark mm -hmm. darts. Oh, um, and I mean, you can, uh, in examining them, you would imagine that they are poison tipped. Um, all right. Um, and, uh, we'll just grab the scimitar cause yay weapons. Um, does it look like it could be magical? Does it look ornate or, uh, the scimitar? Yeah. Um, it looks ornate, but... Uh, not, it has uh, a bit of a chip in the blade. It has, it shows some signs of wear. Okay. So not 
magical. which makes you think non-magical. That's fair. All right. Cross the passageway then. Yes. As you know, this is um, this door in front of you here, leading open, to the causeway it? that spans to the top of the other tower, is yeah. you is exiting completely open into the elements. Ooh. Uh, Everything did, uh, you see out here, these are actual crenellations that are right. open. The rain is pouring down upon them out outside, and you can occasionally see bats um, <laughs> uh, swooping by. All right. Well, if the bats report to Strahd, maybe we shouldn't go that way. They've already seen us already, have they not? Well, they've seen us up there, but they haven't seen us leave. Do you think there's any part of this world that that Strahd doesn't realize that the heart has been shattered? Oh, I mean, that, that's... that's a good point. Well, whatever we should do, we should do it quickly. Make a decision, hmm. Claire. Um, As Claire's about to speak, Piddlewick grabs on her, uh, knocks oh. on her, um, I guess probably the uh, thigh guard of her plate armor. <laughs> tink, 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 tink. And then you see him pull out a couple what look to be like little ball bearings and then um, start to juggle them. And then <laughs> catches one in his mouth and then another. And then kind of makes like a stomach ache motion and starts to like uh, uh, bend over and then just goes and then just shoves his own fist into his stomach. You can see him break almost entirely inside and then you hear a little clink, clink, clink. And then he pulls out three ball bearings. I clap. Interesting. Well done. I think he might be trying to distract us. Let's oh my move along. God. Um, let's, how about we just He's go down succeeding. the stairs here um, mm -hmm. so that we don't expose ourselves to the elements. Um, in that case. All right, um, following you. Strahd things. Okay, so we'll, we'll go down the stairs in the same direction where everyone fell. <laughs> down, down, down you go. What happened to the green gem? Did that shatter as well? It did. It did. It shattered in your hands. That uh, thigh part of the armor, by the way, is called the cuisse. Oh, very nice. So you, are you going all the way on down then? The um, unless down. there's uh, an interesting um, door <laughs> on the way, then yes. Um, I will use the Wand of Secrets. Uh, I will go about halfway down. This, uh, well, first of all, as I go down, I'll, I'll just investigate to see if I can see any kind of a secret. Okay. Um, so this is about... You're going to have to work your way about 120 feet down. So go ahead and roll a, a check as you are. Are you the one who is I will, leading? Yeah. He's, yes. I will be checking okay. from what oh. I can see. Wish I had my other token. <laughs> Natural one. Get it out of the way. There you go. So as I get about halfway down, I'll use the Wand of Secrets to see if I can detect any traps or secret doors. Okay. Um, as you get to a point about halfway down this spiral, those of you with dark vision can now see um, down below there's this um, ornate um, stone uh, um, sort of mosaic inlaid into the ground and then near that you see s stairs descending even further down into the darkness and just waldo as you send out a charge of this wand it points up behind you about 20 feet up on the stairs onto the wall there's a secret something there um Given the fact that we're all still alive, I would have to assume it's not a trap, and it is in fact a door. Um, it's twenty feet above where we're standing when he finds this. Uh, correct. Okay. Uh, cyborg, maybe fly up and check it out. Yeah, of course, of course. So, um, and to excuse me, so you've been spiraling down these stairs, and Jaswaldo stopped and thought, "I wonder if I've missed something," and then he pings, and it's just 
back up the stairs. Oh, on the stairs. The I thought yeah. you meant on the wall, literally <laughs> my, 20 my feet up from that point. <laughs> my bad. We'll go walk and check it out. Okay. Um, sure enough, having revealed it, doesn't take too long to find that you can... Um, uh, if you can just get your fingers around the corner of some of these stones, you can actually pull open um, this section of the wall. There are hinges behind. And looking in, you see a ladder leading straight down a very, very narrow shaft about 20 feet. This looks promising. Mm -hmm. Looking for a place where we can maybe be out of sight. Perhaps. Um, Absolutely. Can, is, does it look like there's an opening near the bottom? Um, not that you can see from up here. It's just, uh, there seems, just descends into what looks like maybe a, um, a bit, just a very small room. Um, oh, how big is the shaft? It's narrow. Uh, one okay. by one, you would be, um, it, it would be tight to, to get down there. Okay. On the um, map of Ravenloft, is um, on the front side map, would it perhaps be this um, strange little bit that juts out? Um, I'm wondering if I'm sort of... No, so that you right. think I that you, you can judge by now. You think you're probably at the um, 130 foot to 190 foot height oh, I see. level okay. right now. You feel you've yes. descended... Um, you know, about 90 feet way down into the main portions of the castle. Right. I see. Okay. Um, well, it's a secret, so we might as well take it. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, marching order? Um, I guess Going down the ladder with first. my yeah. dark vision? I think most of us have dark vision at this point. I, I do not, maybe... actually. Oh, you don't? Okay. At that, then... at that I, I cast... Uh, Dancing lights to sort okay. of, and I'm just gonna keep re-upping so it. Let's let's I've have Teresa glow sword. Um, I mean Ethelflad, sorry. I was like, um, who dat? Who dat? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Ethelflad. Um, um, Akantha probably can't fit because she's an earth elemental. How dare you body shame her? <laughs> that is not body shaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is a fair observation of a large-sized creature made of rock. Is it unworked earth or stone? And if so, I can just... It uh, is very much... Every, you know, very most of what's much. in here is very much worked stone. It is... Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Has been built. Nine to five. Worked. I will cast light on a stone or something and then just drop it down the shaft. Okay. Um, it falls about 20 feet. And then just sits there glowing um, mm -hmm. on what you, but you can see now kunk, onto a wooden surface. Well, it's not so bad. Trapdoor, maybe? Maybe. Can I'll one of us there. just go down and check it out and see see what we might be walking into down there, see if it's worth it? Absolutely. And Cyborg just drops down the shaft. Right. It's like everybody's dropping down there. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it like All it's Cyborg, you drop down. Um, I'm pulling you guys over into another map now here, and Whoop. you can see the um, small shaft that you were able to sneak into um, after discovering the secret door off of the stair, and <clears throat> immediately you see that you are inside some sort of wooden object here. Um, there is a... Um, door just barely cracked open in front of you. Sorry, DM, clarify where I'm supposed to be landing at on my 20 feet down. Is that right here? If you can see there's this little, little teeny ladder. This? Uh, I'm not painting on the right layer. Yep, oh, this little nope. teeny ladder <laughs> right here. Oh my word. <laughs> and basically as you climb down, you emerge out from what looks to be some type of cupboard or wardrobe. Oh. And is that into this space here? The uh, rectangular space yeah, is, okay. is where you emerge into. Oh, it looks like a good place to rest. <laughs> here, um, oh, the windows in this room, or the window here is um, dirt caked, barely letting any of the already dim light through. There is a, There are broken bed frames and torn bits of mattresses scattered across the floor. It's some sort of cupboard under the stairs. All right. Looks like and this, and then again, a small staircase descends further in okay. front of you. 
DM, uh, so how how old is the, like, has this mattress or bed, has it been used recently or does it look pretty musty and... This doesn't look like it's been torn up recently. Um, it okay. is old and moldy and um, sort of caked with dust. But you did say that this was a window this year? It is. Oh, excellent. I'm going to sort of hover my way over to the window to see if I could see out and if there's any sort of indicators as where on the castle I would be or like what the facing would be. Okay. Um, you are looking... Well, um, you scrape off a bit of the dust. It's yeah. still very um, very dirty and almost almost opaque. Make a perception check. Don't mind if I do. What do my monkey eyes perceive? Oof, that's not going to be good. Well, Ten. Okay. Um, so just based on your knowledge, you think you are looking out the back of the castle. Okay. Uh, you cannot see the grounds below. Uh-huh. Okay. Dan, may I also jump down you. there? Sure, of course. Anyone who likes you can. Um, sure. You will see this staircase that you're looking at. You also, when you all kind of come down, um, and it's just while those lights begin to illuminate, you can see there's another passage here that seems to be caked clogged and spider webs. I did give you a new token just while well done. Yeah. Oh, my my fault. Um I do not uh, I would like to do a perception check at these steps to see if I can hear anything coming from up down there. By okay. me. Go ahead and roll it. Just while well done. That's my new token. Oh, isn't it pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. It's a very nice new token. I feel like this is a good place to rest maybe. Just uh Take a breather, ten minutes or so. Uh -huh. Just yeah. although I think this is the back of the castle, if I'm looking at the window. Does it open? Um, at the window? Yeah. At the window? Um. Oh, I, uh, the check for uh, a latch on the window, or are they bars, or is it uh, sort of? DM is the window a? Uh, uh... It is completely solid, like many of these here it, it does not look like it was designed to open cyborg looks back well dm i have a nine on my perception check so uh, same with you concur with cyborg you're definitely looking out the back of the castle um whether or not you're 40 feet or 100 feet up hard to tell and if anything's out there you can't see it i sort of whisper back up the shaft if we are going to take 10 minutes this would be a good place hey, but akanta can't come down through the shaft well, if she... Can she go back to being a gnome? Akantha? Rakantha? Rakantha? Oh, oh, she looks... She looks frozen. frozen. Oh. Yeah. No. It sounds like... You guys are um, discussing Piddlewick starts to um, tug on your um, armor again, Claire. Okay. And Hello. then starts to do a little, a little dance. <laughs> DM... High level content right um, now. <laughs> I have a, a request. I uh -huh. want to. Uh, well, no, I'm not there. Never mind. Never mind. I cannot see this little dance. Um, I I don't know. I I'm gonna attempt an insight check uh. into his behavior. I'm probably gonna roll horribly, but I will yeah, try. try. So, eleven. So, being so, that yeah. being that he has no facial expressions, um and is actually sort of a creature that's uh, more um, mechanical than organic. It's hard to read him, um, mm -hmm. but he does a little bow again. He does a little bow, bow, bow. Shale, did you get the, um, that, that we were asking if you could turn back into a gnome? Yes, and okay. I can, but as if this is a short rest, then I think I'll gain my wild shapes back. Otherwise, I will have Short no rest shapes. is more than we can do in 10 minutes. Um, okay. So if I switch taking, back, I know I lose. you don't have. And yeah. this is going to be a very, 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 this will be probably too small for Akanta to mm. fit okay. in in her, her thelma. I would There's love a narrow escape passageway. So a short rest purely to get my level six spell back. <sighs> I don't think we can afford the time. And I think that going around the castle with a rock elemental 
pretty much fucks us for any sort of stealth. That's okay. fair. Are we... So what is the goal here? I mean, we took the heart out. Yay, go team. Um, are we... Are we looking to pick a fight with him here in the castle? Or, or do we try to draw him out? He's not going anywhere. Uh, we are, I think, now looking for our friends to free them. Okay. And if we find the sword on the way, wonderful. If we find Strahd on the way, we kill him. Uh, okay. Hey, so, Fiddlewick. He kind of looks um, and he starts to oh, wait, run in circles on. around your feet. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, um, so, so, so Ryan, the player, doesn't trust Piddlewick as far as he yeah, can Yeah, oh, I don't trust would Piddlewick. Would be down either. the shaft, but Cyborg would be like, no, don't hurt him. He's marvelous. <laughs> um, <laughs> evil, evil, um, evil Jeswaldo would have already killed him. <laughs> well, Evil Jeswaldo would have killed a Kantha, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Evil Jeswaldo would have done a lot of things. So maybe but, we should. But before before we box. do before we do that, can we make a decision on what we're doing here? Yes. That'd be great. Uh, um, you ask too much, making decisions. Okay. Are Are you willing to renome Rockantha? Rockantha. If I renome, I got no wild shapes. We're okay with that. Okay. It got so, us a plus two. Uh, being a being a um, an uh, earth elemental got us a plus two um, uh, full plate, and also you kicked ass in that last fight. So yeah, you rocked. Hi, I'm back. Do I just do just we... down? Catch me. Catch Sorry, me. just Waldo. <laughs> I'm I'm whispering down the shaft to him um, as she's walking down. Um, are we taking this what? little fellow with us? <laughs> um. <sighs> My concern is if he, uh, about letting him go is what he does when he's he, not with us anymore. But then also I think what he does. He kind of puts his us. hands on his hips and looks up at you when you say that. I think hey, we should try to I don't either... know you very well. I think maybe his shoulders slump if he, and he looks if he down. wants if he wants to hang out with us, then we should let him. Um, I am going to reach into my pack and I am going to remove a small steel mirror from my gear and I'm going to kneel down in front of Pilwick and I'm say, I'm sorry. I think you would understand that we're a little concerned in this moment. This is my apology gift to you. Will you please come with us? And he kind of looks and he touches his own face and sags a bit and then oh my god you're, you're a click 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 as his posture resumes then he starts to kind of try to fix the charcoal face <gasps> that he's drawn on himself and sort of fix this jack-o-lantern like smile mm -hmm. i'll hold and out my hand he attempts one more time to do a backflip lands <laughs> on his head again oh. before falling onto the side of the uh of the stone then he hops up and does a little bow. Okay. Maris, will... casts, Maris casts thaumaturgy to create little lights that appear around him, colored lights. And he grabs at them. <laughs> All right. I'll, and he looks, um... he looks directly towards Elimus, then goes, goes over and tugs his robes. Very good. Oh. So, uh, how about that prayer of healing, Maris? Yeah. Okay. We'll all head down. I'll pass Pitalik <laughs> down. I'm gonna do ident. Can I? I'm gonna try identify on Pedalwick. And while uh, he's okay. doing that, uh, Maris attempt, will start the. Uh, break. He will start need to touch Pitalwick for the entirety of the ten yeah, minutes. I'm sure he don't mind. So I'm gonna do a, <laughs> a third level prayer of healing. And I will take my ten minutes as she's focusing on casting that to um, revitalize our spirits. <laughs> Inspiring Huzzah. leader for temporary hit points. I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, very good. 21 points, assuming they we get them. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we'll see if 10 minutes. All right. Anyone else got everyone? plans for these 10 minutes? Uh, Maris um, has begun to chant. 
Wait, Elimus, so the, the thing starts to... Piddlewick starts to walk away from you when you begin the spell. Um, so it looks like he's walking towards Maris. He can't I'll, hear you. I'll go, I'll go with. Okay. He kind of, like, is trying to get you off of, of his head. He's trying to just, like, get off Am of I me. Get off Get in any sense of anything from him? Just annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> um... He doesn't want you. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't want uh, your hands on him. At least not this long, as he's just trying to shrug okay. you off. <laughs> Maris oh. is doing her prayer of healing, and she looks down and she mm -hmm. starts singing. Salute. <laughs> I yeah, saw and you Pitwick standing. Is kind of like running in that direction, trying to get over to Maris while this is happening. Mm -hmm. um, Akanta will go over and like try to distract him. Here, you want to play pancake? And he goes no, and he he wants to go over and. Um, He's kind of doing a mockery of the gestures and the words that um, Maris is doing <laughs> while, uh, while she is um, encanting this uh, prayer. Uh, are you going to try to maintain hold of him this whole time? No, I'll, I'll change and go to the tech magic. Okay. Very good. So one minute passes. Silence. Two minutes pass. Chat, and then chat, you chat, hear chat. sort of you exited from this wardrobe that looked as you look at it now it's made from um, mahogany and it's this beautiful dark wood inlaid are these um, carvings of fey creatures seeming to be dancing about in um, in a forest there's another smaller simpler wardrobe and you hear a thump 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 thumping sound coming from within it after about two and a half or three minutes could we make sure that that little thing right there is securely closed uh i'll go over there and see if there's a lock or anything that i can prop in front of it okay it seems Honestly, there are just two handles. There's no sort of latching mechanism. It looks like it would just pull open and shut. It's simple as that. Oh, that's easy. Mm. I go ahead and take my manacles and I just put them through the two handles and then close the manacles. Okay. And so you hear this kind of dull thump, almost like the sound of um, maybe a ball of fabric b bouncing against the now, uh, the, the wooden oh. doors. Now that's, that's secured, but... Do we want to know what's making the noise, or do we maybe just... Maybe not right this second. In maybe six once minutes. We... In six minutes. Okay. Yeah. Cyber, Cyber sits there. But actually, good job with the manacles. Cyber. Oh, thank you. It's a part of my Monster Hunter kit. Hey, I've got one of those, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <gasps> I knew it. It's meant to be your squire. It's so cool. So you all sit here hey. with the sound of Maris's <laughs> singing the... Um, sort of pattering and uh, you hear the little clicking of gears and, talk. <laughs> and clicks in uh, as Piddlewick dances around as your commander also continues to inspire you. But all the while, this little rustling sound, the rustling of fabric and a soft thumping seems to persist from this manacled wardrobe near you as well. Um, Claire, any th anything special? in particular you would like to say to the group as you bolster their will to succeed? Um, I think the the general uh, thrust of it is, you know, we've completed one step, you know, we've taken out the first layer of protection against Strahd himself, and this is going to be fucking rough, but we are equipped to handle this, we just need to continue to stick together and not lose our heads um, so keep going. And I, that's partially even for me because like I, as Claire, I'm like low key freaking out internally. Um, so I'm like halfway <laughs> trying to convince myself as well. Um, but that's, yeah. <laughs> Good okay. times, guys. What do we get? And that gives us what? 13. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. if we get through these Confusion. 10 minutes, um, yeah. it'll be, um, 15 temporary hit points. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. 
Divers over there like, I likes it. Ooh. Speaking like of that. which, uh, DM, <laughs> where are we on those 10 minutes? Uh, they come to pass. Yay, but it so uh, interrupts your speech twice by knocking on your um, the very top of your uh, um, pauldron and on the knee. Okay. Just knocking, knocking. I'll kind of, as I t continue talking, I'll kind of like fist bump him. <laughs> Okay. In return. <laughs> he he returns it and he pretends like um the impact knocks him back across the room as he somersaults backwards <laughs> and is, sort of sways himself prone. Right. Hate to be that guy, but the uh, pauldron is not the knee. Gonna pauldron always is shoulder, be isn't that it? Guy. Grieve yeah, am yeah. I thinking of Greaves or what <laughs> no, no. what's the word I'm looking for? Polaine. Oh. Greaves are Polaine, there Polaine. we go. You can be that guy, everyone. Yeah, we all need yeah. one, right? John's being pretty polame right now. Yeah. So <laughs> we all need an armor guy. That's true. It's true. Yeah. So cool. You gotta keep your guard up. Oh my god. All right. Clank you. All righty. Ha <laughs> ha. Good night. Oh boy. <laughs> so we complete our time in this tiny little room. So that's 21 hit, 21 hit points from Pair of Healing and 15 hit points from uh, Inspiring Leader. Indeed. Cool. Temp hit points. Temp hit 15 points. temp hits point. hits points. Hits points? Hits points. Hits points. Pretty quiz boy. Pretty quiz boy. All right. Are we ready now to find out what the menacing thing inside this cupboard yes. is? Sure. I mean, we do have two other sets of manacles. We could just leave it locked in there. Aren't you wondering what's in there? Are you like, really didn't, wondering? Didn't you just didn't you just uh, detect magic, yes, um, Alimus? Yeah. So what? Are you picking up anything? I don't know. DM. I? DM. <laughs> DM. Uh, nothing. DM. DM. It's, pit, it's Pitterwick. Pitterwick magical. Um, no, he yeah. is. There is maybe the 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 faintest bits of magic. Um. Something that you would recognize um, from your studies is you would look to gnomish devices. Um, they're sort of artifice borders on magic in the way that it, um, um, in the way that it is constructed. It, it gives off almost this arcane feel to it, but it's not. Hmm. There's no spell origin here. Am I getting this anything from the cupboard? Craftsmanship. No. Nothing magical in the cupboard. All right, so. Unmanacle? Yes. Huh? I mean, I don't see the point. We, it's trapped in there. We can just there. leave it. Let's just leave it. You hear that again, the th th just soft thumping and then sort of rustling of fabric. Maybe it's like a, uh, a like a way in or, in or out, like as if something's like the wind is like blowing against the door. Just while the pulls out the luck rapier and holds it. What if it's one of our Looking allies at stuffed in a box? How big is this box, Dian? <laughs> this is a this is a wardrobe. It's an oh. ally in a wardrobe. <laughs> um, all right, let's check it out. It's not a door, Claire. You should be fine. Uh, this is kind of a it kind of has doors. Well, keep Claire. My away from worst door. enemy. <laughs> So we had a cupboard under the stairs, and now we have a wardrobe. Any other literary references we can throw in here? The thing's got a uh, ring in it. I'm out. All right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Bounce. All right. Uh, Cyborg takes off the manacles. He was actually kind of glad because he'd be sad to lose them. All right. Yep. Uh, okay. Athelflaed pulls out her magic sword that she has back. All right, and then Cyborg. Cyber gets on one of the handles to sort of like get to the side of it so that he can open it up so that whatever comes out is going to be. I imagine you said, Jeswaldo, you're facing it? I am facing it. All right. And then Cyber looks at Jeswaldo and is like, Are you ready? At that oh. moment, there's this crash of thunder behind you as the storm continues to rage outside. The wind now pittering against I am the window. The storm. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right. So it opens and yes. open, open and out. Um, sort of 
um, uh, erupting out of this uh, cabinet is uh, what seems to be just a mess of fabric, which whoosh, goes fast, goes right past you as the thunder picks up again. The rain pours harder and harder, and then just swirling about, this mass begins to, bits of fabric begin to fall away, shifts um, old, dirty uh, pants, and then just sitting then alone by itself, lilting in the air, is a tattered yellow dress with a patch down by the foot. And it just sits there and sways back and forth. You think it's just falling for a bit as if this was just some sort of eruption of force, but you realize that it doesn't, it's not cascading to the ground. It is rocking back and forth. Something about the pittering of the rain on the windowsill and the crash of thunder coalesces into almost a sort of music as this hollow vediment just lilts back non, and forth non in a slow dance. Huh. Oh. Hey. Is it non-magical? Non-magical. Yeah. Apple oh. Plaid puts away her sword a little disappointed. Um, uh, just one of those not putting sense? anything away. <laughs> divine sense. Damn. Are you expending a... Yeah. So design, divine sense? Yeah. You reach out. And let me check something. Akantha, put your token on the board so we can get all of the custom art tokens up there. Woo! I'm, I'm invisible! stop no, being I'm... tiny. You. Yeah, Jeswaldo, why are you so wee? It is a, <laughs> it is a forced perspective thing. <laughs> you do Guys. not sense the presence of any... Fiend or undead. What the fuck? As this dress continues to simply so dance about the room. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. No. Um so that's a that's just a dress. That's just There is no ghost or any undeadness in that. Uh, Cyborg checks the, the wardrobe itself. Is there like a false back to it or anything like that? Or was it literally just a wardrobe? Just a wardrobe filled with other dirty, musty clothes. Hmm. Hello, dress. <laughs> careful, how, careful how you address it. I was going to just, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Hanging by a thread here. <clears throat> so, so. <laughs> <laughs> it is wow. seemingly unaware of your All right, button comments. it up. <laughs> wow. Do we touch it? No, Damn, I think we should keep on going. Okay. We've got a perfectly good set of stairs right there. Great. Okay, let's... I will lead the way. <laughs> yeah, friend, let's, let's... Friend Hi, of yours, Pitterwick. He kind of looks um, disappointed at it. <laughs> He's like... And he kind of run. He starts to kind of shuffle forward, about to reach out and um, and grab the fabric. Pinnewick, you don't need to touch that dress. You know that's fine. He looks back at you and he frowns, you, and then continues I'm, to do so anyway. You're really, no, oh, you don't need okay. to do that. <laughs> he gets about to the hem, and he Let can't quite reach it. He's <laughs> jumping up, jumping up, finally catches the end of it, and it falls lifeless over the top of him. Oh. Where'd Pitterwick go? And then you oh. see this little um, this uh, little mound where the um, clockwork man is sitting beneath it, and then you hear it, and you see him just rip out of the top of the dress. Oh. And then do a little bow. <laughs> I'm so, okay. so confused. Well, let's and go then down he the just stairs. Drops his head. Cyborg's just up. Kind of stares at you, um, Claire. Then just shrugs and just You're continues nice to dance. stare at you. Uh, now that I am looking at him, may I do an insight check? Sure. I would like to know if... Is there any sort of cumulative... Um, like when somebody says something nice to him, does he get happier? Does it get seem to be building towards something? And when somebody sure. says something bad or something goes wrong, does he get angrier? I'm looking to see if we're building towards something here. 
I have hey. rolled a 21. Um, you notice as he is just simply staring at Claire after her past couple reactions, as her patience seems to wane with him as her enthusiasm for his really... He's uh, There is some cuteness to him, but the actual creature is kind of grotesque looking. Um, it's almost like there was a cloth doll that someone just stuck this face onto. So it has almost looks like someone put nails in to attach his face, which he's then painted over. Um, he has all of that Harlequin-like feature in his dress, but in all of the most sort of disturbing ways. Um, he's not cute by any means. And um, his, you know, his his dances are a little bit clumsy. And each time someone recognizes that, calls it out or something, he kind of stares at them for a while and looks deflated. Do I feel like he is a threat? Um, so along with the deflation, you notice is that he looks at um, Claire for a bit. And as she, uh, you know, he kind of goes down like this. And as soon as she turns away and begins to look at something else, the eyes shoot up and just follow her every step. A threat, hard to say, but he is intently staring at her after that. I stab him. Oh! <laughs> All right. Uh, make an attack. Hey. Uh, oh my god. Peter, you got, um, withdraw your phone, Peter. All right. <gasps> we have Liz! We have a Liz just in time for Saloon! Yay! Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh my god, you're back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have rolled a 17 to hit. Okay, yes. And I've that done Liz, he's, he's 31 points of Piddlewick. damage. <gasps> You've just finished your prayer of healing and you see this. Um, little creature tear its way out of a dress that was just dancing around the room. You've missed a few things. And um, <laughs> I feel emerges up from already. this dress and <laughs> you see Jeswaldo watching it as this little construct creature just keeps its eye just watching Claire. And then Jeswaldo sticks his rapier in and it just looks up at you. Eyes open. The head just goes a little limp as it sits there impaled upon your sword. Jaswaldo, what are you doing? <sighs> Desi, a, why? Re removing a threat. Didn't trust him. Does yeah, that actually intent. do anything? He's, He's not so flesh and blood. No. Fiddlewick? But yeah. malevolent. I think he was looking to betray us whenever he had an opportunity. Okay. But That's did that actually... Had, had, I'm, I'm looking had it at... Been had it been a creature, I would have not been so quick. But a construct. I mean, he's right. It, 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 but he's I, a construct. Like, has he actually done anything to... I'm looking at Piddlewick now on Jeswaldo's sword. Like, <laughs> has that done anything? Yeah. It's limp. It is. It's the, the, the little click, click, click. click. You, you heard ticking almost like a clock and little soft gears winding and turning along. And when this is all said and done, stopped. perhaps we can take him to Blinsky's and have him repaired. Hmm. Really? Okay. We... Um. Oh. Alimus, just have a quick look at him and see if there's anything. Alimus did. He cast mm. rare frost. Maris. <laughs> yeah. Um, you are down one third level spell slot. Okay. You have inspiration. Oh. <laughs> You have one regular healing potion. Uh huh. You have used your uh, greater healing potion. Okay. You have 40 hit points extra. You've been healed 40 hit points, and you have 15 temporary hit points. Maybe I should just let you run Maris all the time. Oh, I wait. Know. It's almost over. Drink that wine. Um. Now that we're done with that, <laughs> shall we? Al Alimus Fine. obviously Fine. sees the creature upon your sword and says, no, I agree. And as you say, take a look at him, he just casts Ray of Frost on it. Your <laughs> attack hits and it just knocks off one of the arms. The head just kind of 
jostles around I, a bit before hanging limply again. Stamp on it, Jeswaldo. On this you guys I wasn't me. asking you to well, ray of frost him, although I appreciate you trying to be thorough. I was asking you to see if there's anything there that might be helpful. If it is, it'll be in the debris. Well, okay. I'll, okay. I'll we could we could get it repaired. Right, fine. Just take a quick look. I'm never gonna find anything. I'll go you know that. Look. I'm fucking blind. <laughs> I'll have a look. Investigation, a passive for 24. Do you want me to roll? Roll, please. If you were taking, um, oh. if you're doing this over the course of a short rest or something like that, then you could yeah. use your passive. But. 13, unless anyone's giving me a hand. Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, I cannot. The first thing you see is this is a really a marvel of construction. The amount of gears, levers, um, little motorized bits inside, it is almost like nothing you've seen. More sophisticated than almost any of the um, little gnomish gadgets that you've ever uh, had the chance to fiddle around with during your wizard instruction. Okay. Truly a marvel. Now, well, broken apart. We killed it. Now Are you dead. kidding me? It <laughs> could be repaired. It's just a construct. No, I mean, technically. Can I pick it up and carry it? No. <laughs> no, like in my pack. <laughs> like not, I want to get him repaired. This seems wrong. We will have many things. I roll an 18 do. on investigation of his body. Uh, <laughs> I just want to say. You come to mostly the same. Okay. Thought, yeah. I just want to say. For the first say, time in my life. <laughs> do we want to just throw it in a pack and then yes. get on the move? Yes. Okay. Yep, let's go. This, but the, the Piddlewick isn't really the hinge here, yeah. right? Like, no. He's the cog in the. Yeah, okay. We're, um, we're kind of getting the <laughs> stuck. If, uh, uh. Okay, downstairs. Fiddling around. Yes, but before that, I just want to say, Tam, I'm not very happy with you. I really appreciate the 500 bits, <gasps> but you've just given the DM inspiration. Hey. Oh it's... no. I like Tam. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna uh, be right back. God. Okay. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you very please. much, Tam. Much appreciated. For Waldo, while he steps away. Uh, turn about. I'll turn about fair play. So, <laughs> I would like to undo what he just did. <laughs> uh, no, take you back. I'd like to unstab. <laughs> I want to unkill so, the little thing. No, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you for let's the sub as well, let's Jeff. Let's press forward. Welcome oh hell channel. yeah! It's kind of sort of a creepy murder doll. So you yeah. Know. All it's right. Band. Well, actually, I don't know. We don't have the time or the energy to it's contemplate great, our actions here. Name. So. So, um, shall we press down the stairs with Jeswaldo ostensibly and maybe like Ethelflaed near the front since so, they're the sneaky so very quickly down. I can sorry yep. did anyone else oh, just see that? Chelsea come through the trees there yes. that, that looked incredible <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. druid uh, the druid power you guys immediately recognize the next place that you go uh oh it is as you descend the stairs, oh, God. you see an open door into the servants' oh. quarters. This is the second what the second time you were in the castle. Oh, right. This is how you entered. Yeah. yeah. When you went should down be the, to the it should be the yeah. table that's up the way, and then there's the, the two stairs guys, down. The, yeah, the two dead people at the table, and they had the book with the names. Yep, on. Some yeah. way back and through the gates over this direction is the overlook where you first saw Strahd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so. Oh, so then we should keep going down. Down. Where do we think our friends are? You know, down leads to the dungeons again. You're muted. Yeah. Yeah, down is not where we want to go. We want to be between where we are now and where we were. You know, there is another way. You could keep yeah. going down the main round staircase. Um. Would, if, DM, perhaps into the side passage yeah, door. Yeah, I was about Wait. to ask. Can we go into that one? But if we head, well, so if we head into the dungeon, we could potentially get back to the teleport room, which may or may not get us to a spot we need to get to. Or is that too much of a risk to, to go that far? That's a well, long. I feel like that takes too much time. Oh, okay, okay. So, pop out from the cupboard and down the main stairwell. Over to here, right? Go from the cupboard to Over the walk-in closet. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I will go first. Let's see, how can I get there? Oh, look Make us normal-sized DM. Look at Maris <laughs> and Jeswaldo, a midget. 
It's the little <laughs> ones. All right, so you're going down the stairway. The, the curse here? of uh, we're we're going into the the cupboardy. Uh, we're going out of the cupboard into the closet. So we're going right, to into here. here and over yeah. to here. Yes. Okay. 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 Who's out first? I will I will sneak ahead to uh, to scout. Maris has learned ahead of her me. lesson, and she will not be joining it. <laughs> Just Waldo, like, you can I'm... only see a few feet in front of you as you go. These cobwebs you have to pull apart like curtains as you continue. All right, so I have the uh, the and the, uh, vision. the lights going around. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible <laughs> next to a guy with lights glowing out of his hand. Well, right, with with the two of us, is it does it make going through the does it make going through the uh, cobwebs any easier with the two of us? Clearing them it's, away with it's our weapons. It's easy. It's just you're covered in strands. You feel them sort of um, tickling at your ear, and you think you feel something sort of run down the back of your shirt as you are just covered in these strands of web. Was that was that colorful language, or did something run down the back of my shirt? Both. <laughs> well, my my cloak is filthy anyway. On you, and you can feel one sort of crawl across your neck. Does this look poisonous? Mm -hmm. Um, no, you just crush it in your fingers. Just, just, just big and spindly. Really on a killing spree. Is this, uh, well, nobody likes worth, spiders. Do we really like to go this I way? I take spiders outside. <laughs> well, I don't. I would like to roll a perception check. Does it look like it's actually worth it with all these creepy spiders? Go ahead. I will. I'll, I'll go uh, with ahead. my I'll, my I'll, twenty-five I'll stealth <laughs> from before and my twenty-four perception. You Does look it and look worth it? Despite it being very difficult, uh, your being above twenty on that perception check is very good. And you see that um, as you're kind of pulling away the strands, um, there is a outline in the wall just inside the passageway here that looks like it's another secret door. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. It was worth it. Oh, let sorry. the secret sorry. tunnel get you down. Oh, the mountain. Just while though. Um, secret <laughs> tunnel door you said was right. Uh, missed opportunities. Where it's always has, a has anyone episode. seen that? I've this first time I've really seen a hype train come up on our channel. But thank oh, you right. very much for the I just I don't saw that. I've seen that, that in chat before. I think it, it just means people. Because we're getting super. Yeah. We're getting super super subs. Oh my god. Hey. Yay! Uh, uh, beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Uh, All aboard the hype train. V. Beep, 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 beep. Welcome, oh. hypers. One hundred percent. I don't know what oh that means. Gosh. You get your way on Monday, Sean. You get your way on Monday. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, whatever you two are doing for pillow talk, that. Not, I, not I was gonna train. say. I know. It's like <laughs> I don't. Ooh. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, I'm glad I didn't say what I was gonna say next, but I'll say it now. I was gonna be like, I can't be tamed. <laughs> I was like, oh no. We, we, mm. level, we leveled up. Mm. Oh. Oh. Level a trillion. So oh, that's exciting. No! All right. So this door swings open and the cobwebs dissipate a little bit. You see that the spiders have spun some webs on the other side here, but for the most part, the way is clear. And you see the passageway going to your right, up some stairs and disappearing around a corner. You also see a door in front of you and then the passageway simply ending at the end of the hallway here. All right. Um, DM, can I ask a clarification question on this map over uh, here where I am pinging? Is that the end of a wall or does that continue? It is not. Uh, you just have not cleared away. You cannot, you can only see like no a problem. few feet in front of you. Um, that's as far uh. as you cleared the spider webs. I thought well, we don't see, that is the problem. Yes. I thought I am not the yes. boss of you. Yes. I am not the boss of you. But that is please, very true. But please stay here. And I'm going to go around. I'm going to make sure that the cobwebs are cleared for the rest of the group. For Maris. For Maris. Okay. And Thanks, I'm Dave. going to call them all over to where we have found the secret tunnel. All right. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. <laughs> to the mountain. Through the castle. I will never, I will never not sing that. <laughs> Just sing it quietly. Be as Stay sneaky right as possible. I just said if we get your... to a level level two hype train, I'll do a giveaway. Oh, oh. cool. 
Oh, I thought you were going to be like, I'll do a secret tunnel. What does that actually I'll mean, do a by the way? Tunnel. Do you know, I've got I think no it's like if bits, if bits and stuff come so, through yeah, continuously, it uh, it bits? um does. Oh, I don't oh. know. It, it hypes. We, yeah, so we it's, hype. It says sub gifts or use bits to sort of keep the hype train going. So it, as mm. people Woo! give. That sounded there. like you were about to like drop some like great I phrase agree. on us like I'm sub yeah. bits and bits blah 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 that. and you can maybe do something <laughs> and it drops hey. Gift, you bits. <laughs> hey Thumbs whatever gifts man. and bits to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> bits and gifts and bits and gifts all right so wow what's going on um shall we go into this corridor that you so holy wonderfully shit we just jumped up 71 percent sorry oh, no. all right oh, no. <laughs> So you, <laughs> stop watching but the bar. When we hit level two, suddenly everyone's distracted from the game. I know, I know. The screensaver yeah, I know, right? But before, the corner, that's like, in the corner, before like we Michael do, because obviously and one of them has triggered, right now. one of them oh. has triggered something. So Loom of Jewels, who's literally just joined our community and oh, just joined thank the Twitch you so channel, much, Loom of Jewels. Has, uh, oh, has contributed oh, three, uh, 300, oh, yeah, 300 bits, which is a D6 inspiration. So. All of us need to roll a d20. All right, you Yay! saucy minxes, roll. All right. Saucy minxes. Saucy, saucy oh, minxes. Oh, it looks like Lyris oh. Lyris is in the lead with an 11. With an 11. Oh, oh. Is, is anyone? As long as the DM doesn't get it. Ooh. Oh, Mary's in the 13. Oh, right, damage. 13. Hot dice, hot dice. Roll your dice <laughs> for the d6. Maris, no way. Last Maris, one oh. was a 13, too. Maris wins yeah. a d6 inspiration. <laughs> oh, holy shit. All right. Snakes better. <laughs> hey, we made level two! Yeah! Okay, okay. okay. Right, Give let away me... on the break. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need yeah. to do this. I need to do the other thing. Snake Spinner's just donated 500 bits, but we've all got inspiration already. So I'm going to say. Do you, Double you, inspiration? You, have you got it already, haven't you? No. No, Tam's just given Wait. you inspiration. Tam gave oh, you yeah, inspiration. You Tam, I'm going to yeah. forget about this. Tam, yep, give you but... inspiration. <laughs> so we could do two D6s. If you want to do that, oh yeah, yeah. So um, so we'll just use the, the next, the just next use the same dice. So the next yeah. people will be Alimus and Jeswaldo. Oh. They get these sixes. Hey. These these have to be used in tonight's game. Well, to be honest, so do the inspirations because this I is our last. <laughs> So again, right, thank you very much to right. everyone that is. Yeah, don't be shy stuff. with them. You got this corridor ahead of you. And Pressing on. Upstairs, you've got a door, and then just the end of the hallway there. So. Um, That's Ethel Flat, I'm, I'm gonna come up and whisper to her. Can you listen in and see if you can hear anything in that door? I've already gone through the door. No, the, the <laughs> next. <laughs> door. The, I was like, uh. The the, the door on the door. map. <laughs> the door. The door. Okay. Don't tell me what to do, Commander. Okay. Literally, my job. But don't tell. But don't tell me what to do. You're my commander, but don't tell me what to do. Perception. <laughs> it's literally her name. Like, I do what I want. Very good. Is perception. it twenty-five? Good Lean enough. Your head and put your ear against the wooden door, and you hear just a soft humming. It's the next campaign. No, I know. I Don't open the door. <laughs> We're not ready. We're not ready. We're not ready. Um, and I'll come back to the, my two favorite no people in the front. Okay. Oh my God. Everyone's donating bits. Jesus Christ. Yay! Hey. I may have to sort this out later. We, we are not going to finish guys. this. <laughs> right. We're going to finish it. We are. Well, I'm not going to use it yet, but thank you very much to Noxville and thank you very much to Snake Spinner again. We're going to keep those in the bank for now. There's two inspirations, yeah. so whoever uses them first gets another one. I don't know what we'll oh. we do. It's just going to be that. Or we could add them both up and get a healing potion. I think that sounds good. Yeah, we'll add them both up. DM, roll the healing potion quickly. Sorry, guys. There it is. Regular but again, one. thank you very, very right. much. Very, very oh. much. Who's there, taking that regular health potion? There is a giveaway going on. So exclamation mark um, giveaway will um, enter you into that. For We're just going to do like a, a mug here. or anything like that. So. Can't that. Clear. Oh, no, I'm at full. Um, oh. Can't that take it. I have a healing potion. Oh, she froze again. Oops. Damn it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. All right, where are we going? Oh. Um, uh, I'm coming? I'm gonna tell them because yeah, there's there's I don't know what's going on. Um, I could not 
It's a it's a male ish sounding voice. Was it? No, it's female, definitely. Okay. <laughs> well, Man. when you every voice you do is male. That's true. <laughs> objectively, <laughs> objectively true. <laughs> there was something in it. Oh god! It was humming quite contentedly. That seems neutrally. odd for a place like this. Were there any yeah. like whole peat like? What? Keyholes? <laughs> Did it sound like Esmeralda? Keyholes, people. Commander, with your permission, may I I've never investigate? Heard Esmeralda hum. Absolutely. So I will step oh, forward and I will go to the door here. and I will. <clears throat> Everyone, stay close. I'm just gonna cross my arms. So are we? My investigating wasn't Come good close. enough. Come close, everyone. And I knock on the door. Are we okay. <gasps> you hear a little bit of a gasp. Spider hallway. Is Who's, that? Okay. Uh, who is it? Oh, I'm very, very sorry, but uh, I seem to be a bit lost in the castle. I was wondering if I could maybe come in and um, get some directions. Uh, my name is Jeswaldo. So um, you hear a clicking of the door and it swings open. And unlike the dusty sort of discarded interiors that you've seen before, this is this rectangular chamber is um, lined with oak panel walls. It is lit by gas lamps, or not, uh, uh, sorry, oil lamps. Um, there's sort of yellowed lace hanging from eight canopied beds here. Um, figure of a woman is sort of just standing there. She's wearing um, a uh, plain brown dress, and around her pale, slender neck, there is a gold necklace with a ruby pendant, and she looks cautious. I take off my hat and do an elaborate bow. I am Gesualdo Tocarembo, La Tomba del Fuego, Santa Maliva, Zacateca, Do Hotel de Santa Cruz, Rosa. And he's service. married. He's married. Hi, I'm yes. his wife. Uh, newlywed. <laughs> um, my name is Helga. Are you? Are you here to rescue me? Well, that all depends. Are you in need of being rescued, Helga? Yes. Please, I. If, if you can get out of here, I can come with you, yes? Well, uh, where are you from? I'm, well, I'm, I'm just, I'm from Valaki. I'm, uh, I, the daughter, the, uh, the bootmaker in Valaki's my father. Ah, I see. You're the, the daughter of Pietro Beladovich. Who? No, um. I'm sorry, that was a very bad test. Um. Uh, I believe you. Uh, do I believe her, DM? Oh, they make an insight check. I was literally thinking, I was like, wow, what an incredible memory. <laughs> I have rolled a natural 20 for a 25. Made that and I'm going up. to go ahead and throw yeah. a... Well, no, a 25 is probably good enough. We'll yeah. I, was I think a natural 20 yeah, is good totally enough. My dad. A crit insight? Yeah, I'd say that's a... Yeah. Um, yeah, that's um, enormously good insight. Something about her delivery of this seems... Maybe a little too practiced. Sus. Um, Sus. I her, was going to say it. I was going to be. Yeah. Sus. Her. Um, as the kids oh say. Oh, dear. As she opened the door, <laughs> it was almost a little theatrical. Hmm. I have to why ask, um, if you are a prisoner here, then why was the door not locked? Well, uh, what, what what can I do? Just, I can't say no to him. Can lock the door. We so say no to him on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. But look at you. You're all, you're strong and dashing, and I, I, I don't know. I, I please. And she gets down on her knees and and holds up her hands. Please take me away from here. How pretty does she look? Oh, bad oh. man. I'm sorry, why are you asking? Get your man, girl. Get your man. <laughs> Pull him back. How pretty is <laughs> wow. she? <laughs> her skin is actually quite clear, beautiful. Um her her uh, she has auburn hair which is kind of pulled back into a um into a, a loose ponytail, but um it's it's clean, has a beautiful sheen to it, sort of reflecting off the lamps. Um, it's clean. Her clothing is very plain, but she has nicely manic not manicured hands, but um hands don't clean, clean for someone who um, spends their day cleaning and uh, she's pretty 
Well, we'll be very happy to take you with us. Of course, there is a price. A price? Yes, uh, well, we require proof that you are, in fact, who you say you are. There are many monsters and such thing that, that would uh, be very uh, keen to mm, fool us. Could you, and I'm going to hand her one of my darts, perhaps stick this through your hand. If you do that, we'll take you with us. What? And she kind of looks around to the rest of you now, like, what? Why? Just a precaution, you understand. I, I turn my back to her and lean in towards Waldo. What are you doing? Uh, is and I wink, seeding. trust me. He's, okay. He's sent you, hasn't he? To punish me. I'm sorry, my lord. It's a, was it one of you? Is it one of you? I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll stay right here and I'll clean the beds. I promise I won't go anywhere. I just don't make me hurt myself. Does she have bite marks on her neck? Yeah, what's her what's her health like? What's can her deal? Like, can I check her out? She looks to be in <laughs> she looks to be in fine out? in fine health. Um, but she could be charmed no visible or bite neck. Bite Those marks. La that last bit of uh, thing that she did did that seem sincere or am I still detecting theatricality with her? A little bit theatricality. Mhm. Mm Okay, so like she is sus. Yeah. Rifling. Hella. <laughs> Hella. I mean, sus. if you wish to stay here, uh, we can leave you here. No problem at all. Lock the door. Yeah, maybe don't hum so loudly next time. And she just kind of. <sighs> okay. Uh, I've still got to tap magic going. Does that picking up anything? Uh uh. Maybe she's being charmed. That's yeah. I said that. <laughs> Dete Do we have a uh. detect sus? <laughs> I actually just learned detect sus. So. Uh, Dia, my intention is to stop her before she mm -hmm. actually does harm herself. I'm going to see if she goes okay. to do it. Uh, right now, she's just playing, seems to be um, whether it's a show or whether it's honest. She seems to just be panicked and. Um, sort of very up upset by this and just holding the dart sort of in two hands, almost like she wouldn't know what to do with it. And um, we just need proof that you are in fact a very charming and pretty young lady. <gasps> young lady, not a woman. I, I give Maris's hand a little squeeze. It's okay. It's okay. This is Maris's face. I mean, <laughs> if there's anything you want to tell me, you can trust me and I will use panache. <laughs> And while you're rolling that, thank you very much, Manx, for another $10. That's another two oh inspirations God. banked. Oh, my thank God. Thank you very much, Manx. How lucky are we? Yeah, we love you guys. Always. Hella. So Hella. I'd say 12. I'm going to go ahead and roll my D6 on that DM. Ooh. Okay. So oh, it's a total nice. of... 18, although look at that dice. Look at that roll. cocked dice right there. I know, there. I was like, like, is that a six or a four? I believe four? he rolled a 64 on a six-sided dice. And he rolled another <laughs> insight, by the way. But um, Oh, shoot, yeah, that should have been a perception. No, okay, yeah, it should have been a persuasion. So it's persuasion. actually, so I rolled a seven, so that's plus 13, so and 20. This is my insight? 26 is what I rolled total. <laughs> yes, against your insight. <laughs> she cannot succeed, and so... No. She is. What is the condition now? She is charmed by me for the next minute. Okay. Aren't we all? So she is. Oh, I mean, and I lean into it and I says, I don't know about the rest of these folks, but I am definitely your friend. And me. <laughs> Not me. Not and she me. nods. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna. You, you will save me. This was just a, a test. Of course, a test. Do you still uh, want me to? No, 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 no. Okay. And she kind of But holds our, is there holds anything the that you're him. hiding? If there's a way that you could prove to them, maybe by, or prove to me by telling me something that maybe someone else told you not to tell me? Um, I, I, that's kind of a complicated question. I don't. Well, I don't know who you are, so... How, well, my name is Jezwaldo. How many other people have come in through here uh, that you have asked to rescue you? Uh, 
this is none before you. Um, I just, um, I just, you know, once he's done with the, the others, then, then, you know, we can do whatever we need to do. Oh, I see. Yeah, just, just yeah. Do you, you do you by around. any chance help him lure other women? No, he he mostly just keeps me here. Do you know why? No. Why does he... He keeps... That's what he does with any of us until he gets bored, I guess. But I just try to keep myself useful and spruce things up. And It just seemed like you had a very practiced response when I asked you why you were here. I was just curious why that was. I just... I, I didn't... I just didn't want you to hurt me and I wanted, you know... When, when I, um, she looks, she's kind of like blinks a little bit confused. When I bring the, um, bring the others to him, will you know, that then he might continue to look favorably on me and he won't lock me in a tomb somewhere. I see. And she's starting to blink heavier now. It looks like your charming condition is beginning to wear off. You say she's got a big necklace around her. It does. Is that, yeah. not is that not magical? Nope. But okay, so she's a she's a prisoner of his, right? I think in a sense, yes. Is she like a kept woman? She's probably she kind of then steps away from you realizing that she's been um She's she's bait, kind very of very much um like a lure. influenced by your abilities and how many women have you brought to Lord Strad. I that's not what I do. I, I, I told you, I just I thought I, I'm, I'm sorry, please just get me out of here. I just it was a mistake. I was gonna bring you to him because I thought then maybe he would look favorably on me, but I see now that that was a terrible thing and I, I Um Helga. Yeah. We are not necessarily on our way to immediately leave. So if you were to come with us in this moment, it's probably dangerous. My best recommendation to you right now is to lock yourself in here. Don't go anywhere. And don't hey. say anything to anyone. Okay. But... And when we have the chance, if it is safe for us to do so, we will come back. But I can guarantee you, if you come with us right now, we cannot guarantee your safety. It is much better for us to do so later. Okay. I will go over to her and I'll hold my hand out for the dart. She drops it in your hand. It will be all right. I put my arm on her shoulder and I'm going to remove the necklace with sleight of hand, if I may. Okay. Very difficult check to do it. It's, uh, it's her. Yeah. Mm. Oh. You've got inspiration. Like right what there. the hell? What the hell? Oh Gotta do God. it. So that is a. Uh, you could use inspiration. Twenty-one, and I'm going to use my D6 oh. inspiration. Oh, I already did, didn't I? Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, you yep, did. Yep, yep. For that twenty-six. For twenty-one. Um. She, um, you do you see her kind of nod and her eyes kind of narrow as she looks and she looks down and then kind of looks like she swallows hard and looks just keeps her eye contact with you almost you think that she's noticed but she's pretending not to okay, so I to... remove it and as I do no bite marks no it's not hiding anything not that you can see no it just um, they're not they're not visible to you you were really going to just let me take it put it back in her hand <sighs> all right what she said. Stay here. Stay safe. And I turn around. Okay. I don't trust her. <sighs> after the door, after we shut the door behind us and sort of head back around the corner, um, I just say, that bastard is away with people. Where was she going to take us? 
Well, she she's knows probably going to is. try to betray us or take us to Strahd or something like that. Oh, but, she knows uh, where I mean, in her is, eyes, then. it's not anything, it's not a betrayal. It's the best way to keep herself alive. Which is I understand, but it doesn't help us right but now. But she knows where he is. Well, she might know where she is, but we're not necessarily looking for him right now. We should we're just trying to find our friends first. So, yeah. to That's that end, I want to take a look at this passageway right here to see if there is a secret door. Okay. You may uh, roll to perceive it. Go ahead. It seems like this would be a place where there would be a secret door. Does anybody else want to help me with this? What do you need? Investigation? Perception. Mm -hmm. No, I can't help Either one. Uh, but someone well, can I help can, me with investigation. I can, I can do both. Perception. I'll do a perception <laughs> do check it. if somebody wants to do investigation. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, Akantha. Okay. I'm sorry, as I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I was like twenty oh, D the secret door leading to what looks like some type of narrow um almost like guard post or something. Oh snap. Um, there are double doors um, on either side. Between them, there's this corridor. At the, and at the end of each hall, floating there in the darkness, just not floating, but they just seem to be um, uh, set. You look at the, you're looking at the back of a set of full plate armor. And just back around the side, you can see another one. And inside the helm, the empty skull of a skeleton stares out at you. I'm gonna very quickly open the, <laughs> open the door back to Helga, so do a Divine Sense first. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over here, Divine Sense for um, all this stuff. Okay, so you open the door here, and what's your range on Divine Sense again? Divine Sense is 60 feet. Beautiful. No undead sense from the um, two um, sets of armor, and you did open the door. She just sort of opened the door real quick. Oh, by the way! And she kind of, oh, what? And you sense the uh, definite aura of undead about her. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. We're doomed. We are doomed. No, 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 no. That was like, good attitude. I have stuff that'll help us against undead folks. So. Yeah, you do. Yeah, we are we are looking for some friends of ours. You wouldn't have to know where they are. Um, I. Uh, who are your friends? Well, let's see. There is a, uh, a woman, a very. Uh, I don't know what you'd call her. A uh, sort of dashing like myself, but in a feminine way. Very um, powerful. Very powerful. Very strong. Dark hair. That Pretty. dark skin, a uh, Barovian accent, and um, a. Uh, the, the exact opposite on almost every respect. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know. Did you try? The, the dungeons are way below. Uh, yes, we did not find them in the dungeon. Um, perhaps a place where mm, prisoners awaiting execution might be kept. Well, that's usually where. Or usually we don't keep them for very long. At least that's what I've heard. <laughs> You've heard. I, I really don't know anything, I promise. I just clean. I'm sure you do. Claire? We should just... Scooch. Okay. So sorry. <laughs> Close the door, Elga. Okay. Definitely, you know? definitely undead, but we should just save our energy. I hope she doesn't come behind us. That's what, what I was going to say. <laughs> can we lock the door? I was like, can we use one of the manacle sets from your mon from the monster hunter kits? Well, oh, Maris has manacles. What sort of undead would Lotus. she? Claire? Yeah, I do. All right. Um, can I even identify that? Um, Is that a Monday I, I only know the location. I don't get to know the kind, hmm. Jade. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably a vampire. Like, what, did she? Real. Did she know anything about her friends or? She no. did not. She doesn't know anything about anything. So she says. So she says. Just press on. Let's press Down on this then. hallway. 
past the things that are not undead. Um, maybe have a look-see at these double doors. Any traps in this room, Conway? Nope. Shit. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, traps you kind of squeeze your way around these uh, skeletons. <laughs> you have these large double doors on either side. Like, it wasn't it's... me this time, guys. It's always me. Let's be real. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to crouch down in this little corner right here and hide for a bit. Okay. Um, I I'll rolled a 19. I want to see if we are about to be followed. Um, I'm going to beckon towards Athelflaed and gently request <laughs> that she use her amazing powers of perception to guide us forward about where maybe we should go between these two double doors. <laughs> I take a look to the right. I take a look to the left. Just well done. I roll for perception. Great. I got a nine. I'm going to use my... Do you want help? Do I have a plus six? Right? That's what I was like, do I have a plus six? No. So I need, uh, you I, could no, roll Maris, your inspiration die, but... Me and Mar I, I just me and Maris have got D6s left. Gotcha. Know. Okay, then nope. Nine is it. That's what I was like... Sounds pretty quiet beyond those doors. If you want to yeah. use inspiration, you have to say so before you roll. That's what I was trying to remember. Poop. Yeah. Poop on a poop. Okay. DM, how tall are these hallways? Double poop. All the poops. Uh, they are 10 feet tall. 10 feet tall. Okay. okay. Well, I can't... I, I rolled a nine, so I'm assuming they just look like a bunch of doors. They are. Yay, okay. doors! <laughs> they are totally doors. I... I'm sorry, Commander. My amazing powers of perception have failed me, and I'm blaming Strahd because it just looks like a bunch of doors. Mm, that's okay. Um, dungeon rolls say left. Go for it. All right. The one Your on left? On my in-character left, which is going to be right. <laughs> All right, you opening it up? Um, I sort of Beckon everyone down the hall, except for Jezwaldo, who's doing his stealthy shtick. Um, make sure we have everyone in here who wants to be in here. Cough, cough, Maris. Maris. Cough, cough, Akanta. <laughs> Maris, friends. Crunch, 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 crunch. You're doing a great job, Maris. Thank you. Right. I Much you improvement. Much, thank you. All right. Um, and I'll Akanta, go ahead and open me. this door once everyone's tokens are in place. Wow, y'all suck. Even I see that. <laughs> yes, there is quite a loud sound as you um, all gather to open these doors. And as they are thrown open, it reveals a 20-foot high hall with a dark vaulted ceiling draped in cobwebs. Okay. Well, draped in cobwebs. The same. Um, um, so we've got our options straight here. Maybe let's open this other one also. Okay, I will... Open up the, that other side. The left, right side. Yeah. The right, left, left, right. Yeah. Exactly. It, that, so. exactly. That's right. my favorite side. All right. I don't know about y'all, but that's my favorite side. And you're just throwing them open? I would like to <laughs> casually <laughs> open them, not. Casually open. Ba and the yeah. lad's like, <gasps> blam, right? So you open the press. <laughs> Dim light falls from the courtyard. Through oh, the broken glass window that you know of, that you saw, you know, that oh. is the beautiful circular <gasps> glass window. They're here! Oh my god! Jagged. Oh my god! And um, huh. empty iron sconces dot the walls here. Hundreds of dust laden cobwebs drape the hall, hiding the ceiling from view. Directly across from the window is where you are entering. There are staircases at both ends here. At the far southern end of the hall, a large wooden throne stands atop a marble dais. The high back throne faces south, away from most of the room. And you see a hand sort of come around the side of the arm. Before, uh, before this happens, you can see 
hanging from um, uh, gibbets, dang Ooh. dangling from the rafters by a chain. Yar. Next to each other are the unconscious forms of Esmeralda and Victor. This hand reaches over, beautifully, a beautiful sleeve and uh, jeweled rings, and then you see whoosh, dropping from five strings a little bit of a human puppet, which begins to dance. Hello, brother. It took you so long to come to see me. And as a flick of the fingers happen, five, or actually seven, Human-sized marionettes drop <gasps> from the cobweb-hidden ceilings. Oh, no. Nope. Bearing no, striking no. resemblances to all of you. I knew it. Oh, no. Oh. You roll oh, initiative. Ass puppets. Oh. Right. And do this after the break. Oh, god damn. Give away time, and then we're going to do a very quick break. We've got a lot I... to get through tonight. Welcome back, everyone. We are in Castle Ravenloft. The party has just made their way into Strahd's throne room, but sitting in the throne, they found not the Dark Lord himself, but a former friend. Marionette, also known as Strings, sits there with a puppet dangling from her hands and dropping from the ceiling are lifelike representations of each of the party members, which sit there, each hanging from four strings from the ceiling. Further in the back of the room, unconscious in gibbets, are their friends, Viktor Valakovich and Esmeralda Davenir. How high are the gibbets? About 10 feet off the ground. You can see your allies as well as these things standing guard. There are four armored figures standing at attention. They seem to be empty suits of armor. Um, we can't see the um, yes. so if suits of armor Indeed. if they, they okay. I know. Just not on the, um... okay. Oh no! Oh yes, they seem that looks to be horrible. very empty. Very. And she walks um... around and leans back against the chair. He told me you might be coming. Position yourselves, With people. Them. I'll step inside. Has anyone told Jezwaldo and I what the hell's going on? Because people probably hear. Um, they were waiting. Come in, Jezwaldo. Jezwaldo, try to be quiet. No, I need you now. What? Why? Uh, Mari, I don't know this person, and we're all going to die. Man, that's like all every... right. Cypher, you stay here. I'll go check it out. No. How about you come around? It's she is. She's now standing in front oh, of she is? The, okay. um, the throne. She's leaning sort of back against the uh, the um, backrest. Watching, oh shit! Watching the door and being stealthy, being just like Jez Waldo. I should get a hat. Hats are pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going and to write this in my journal. Lean, lean back out the door and I go, Cyborg. What? I mean, come on. Shh. That's what I said. I need you guys here Cl now. Close the secret door. Okay. You all look okay. pretty tired. We've had a day. Are you yourself, sister? What did, you, to, what did you ask? I asked her if she was herself. Um, I've still got to take magic going. So. More than I've ever been. Oh no! Who's that? Delimus's sister. Heavy, heavy enchantment magic coming from each of the, um, uh, the, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, the uh, sort of human-sized marionettes. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Mary, I've missed you. Funny, I wouldn't have realized. Well, you did kind of leave in the middle of the night. 
I didn't leave. He took me. It was terribly frightening at first, but he has shown me how to be my true self. Hmm. So you would consider him your friend? <laughs> well, my mentor, perhaps. Mentor in what? What is he mentoring you to do? I'm done being pushed around. I'm done having to... I'm... Now, I make my own destiny. I... <laughs> Pull the strings. I'm not sure you're reading the situation here entirely correct, Mari. You were free of being pushed around and told what to do the minute that you left the Vistani camp and came with us. I can leave when I wish. Can you? Yeah. Truly. I believe so. At least once all of you are gone, that's what he says. And Everything is conditioned by him, then. You say you're now. the one that's pulling the strings, but he's the one who's actually pulling yours. That doesn't sound like freedom to me. So true. She kind of clenches her jaw a little bit. And then breathes. <clears throat> well. Either way. You can't, you won't be able to beat him, you realize. This is futile. And especially rescuing these, they're as, they're as good as dead already. This is, this is madness. You, would you really risk your lives that foolishly for them? But isn't that our last shot at freedom? Hi, I'm Cyborg, by the way, we've, we've never met. It, Nice to meet you. I've seen pictures. And she points towards the marionette that's a likeness of you. Yeah, that... I mean, wouldn't it be better to risk it all to take Strad out and truly have freedom? Not only for you, but for everyone. I mean, if you want to pull the strings, throw in with us. We're the, we're the best shot at beating him. I mean, the commander here, she she actually brought back Arjun Voss's head. Like, she she produced the only light in all of Barovia. I mean, we think have about that. We have destroyed his heart of sorrow, and we have killed uh, his uh, major domo. Um, and uh, why? <laughs> Our commander is wearing his brother's armor. And, oh, look, here's the crown jewels itself. I mean, if he really wanted to stop us, don't you think he would have by now? I mean, if you think about it, if you really, really want a shot, throw him with us. Otherwise, you're just reducing our numbers, giving him more control, and you yourself become a puppet. One of you may make a persuasion check. Oh. I will do this, if you don't mind. Oh, um, may I get advantage because Cyber was helping me? You may. Are you a proficient, Cyber? I am not. In you that case, I will not. use my oh, inspiration yeah. point. Okay. So rolling at, let's see if I can do this correctly. Well, not so good. Wow. I've got a 17. <laughs> this man has a plus 13 to persuasion, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled a natural one and a four. Damn. <sighs> Your energy is... I see how you're dwindling. Look. I... If I... I've made a deal, and if I... If I turn back now, I would lose it all. You were never one for deals, sister. The best way to break the deal is to deal is to break the deal maker. Sorry. What what did you say? I I just called her name. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. She looks to you. 
very early on, you and I had a very, very honest conversation with one another. I don't deal in lies. So this is honest truth coming from me here now. This is the time. If there is ever a time to deal with true evil, it is now when all of us together, it doesn't matter that we are tired. It doesn't matter that we have taken hits. We are together. And only when we are together can we take on a fight like this. And I would love nothing more in this moment than for that togetherness to include you. You are a true friend. Yeah. And I was horribly saddened to see you go. I am sorry that that caused you pain. We thought that you left of your own accord. I would brother? see you have you fight with us. You know it's true. You hate the Vistani, yet you work for their master now. We're against don't, both of them. Don't hate them. They're not all... Oh. And she kind of looks around. Make a persuasion check, Claire. Uh, do I get any help on this from anyone, or is this just... This was got, a per, we've got four inspirations. Pretty, we've got four inspirations in the bank. Right. So. I'm, I'm throwing my, my d20 into this. So once you've thrown it in, you and Sean take one back, and there's two more in the bank. Oh, yeah! 25. There we go. She looks up at the, um, at the, um, marionettes that she's made. <sighs> He'll know. Good. That's okay. We'll die before he takes you. You. You need to go. We need to take them with us. You can't. I'll do what I can, but you have to go. Let me do this. You we keep them safe? Yeah. I'll try. But you have to go now. Where is and he? He reaches up and pulls it. Yeah. I don't know. I'll promise I'll hold them as long as I can. And she brings a scissors near one of the um this sort of marionette that she has and starts to step go go now and Which she way? starts to cut the strings and you can see your strings start to slowly fall from the ceiling okay. first of all um uh elimus is the first one and you see the uh limp figure hanging here drop 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 and then thud onto the floor and you see this um um helmed creature <laughs> and turn its eyes towards her. The gibbets are trapped. I can do this. Just go, please. And she starts to continue cutting. You can see then she is beginning to sweat against the stress of this. As you can see very slowly, the Elimus marionette starts to gain, get up to its feet. All right, okay. uh, now we got to decide where we're going, y'all. Uh, down. Down okay. the stairs. Down, down the stairs. Then let's go this way. Grab it, Akanta. Okay. Down, down, down the stairs we go. The sound of combat. She said, "Down." She said, "Down." Begins to we ring out. We did kill her. Twenty-five was hard, but you did it. So there you go. Thank you so much. As you come down to this spot here. The stairway goes down, and in front of you, in two alcoves, are two more sort of armored figures on this landing. All right. Why am I um, always so little? So, down these uh, round stairs, then, I think. To a place you recognize. Yeah. The hexagonal entry room with the gargoyles. You would now rec uh, recognize yeah. from where you've been before. Oh, this is the feast table, okay. Yep. We had a nice little party here. Elimus, is she gonna be okay? She's powerful. I would rather not have left her, but she knows what she's doing. Yeah. 
Double doors? To the outside or, or to the mm. to the, the feast In. room? No, here. Following you. After right. you, Commander. As uh, you head over here. step into oh. this room, nope, suddenly every figure along the rim of this area begins to take animated form. Oh, no. I try not to oh, step on Jeswild. Well, and no. now, my friends, as soon as it's you step so into little. this lodging. I try not to step on Jeswild or Amiris. <laughs> we will. <laughs> we will now actually oh, roll initiative. You can adjust yourselves as I, I moved you, so. Well, that sounds like personal. These gargoyles are ah, about um, uh, are fifteen feet up in the air as we begin to fight. Uh, what sort of creatures are these? Gargoyles. Ah, oh, gargoyles. Gargish. Gargoyles. Yes. Dun 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 oh. dun dun dun. Yes. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. We are Very protectors nice. of the night. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. First up, Man. unsurprisingly, is just Waldo. Um, are there any that I could possibly hit? Maybe from my vantage point here on the steps, if I leapt into the air, would I be able to strike one? <laughs> if you jumped up, up on the air. Oh, look at you. Um... Uh, yeah, let's say I, it's, it's pushing it, but, um, if you're willing to take a strike with disadvantage or try to, um, make a very difficult acrobatics check with a chance of falling prone to try to crawl up onto the mezzanine that they're sitting on. So there's this, there are pillars, right? And there's this sort of, um, lip around this round dome ceiling. And there's in that little um, landing area is where all of them are sit, sit, sitting and perched. I have expertise in acrobatics. I never get to use it. I'm going to go ahead and roll. And I'm going okay. to roll with advantage. Go for it. Using the uh, thing. So here we go. Bang. Well, double sevens. Ooh, not great, but not terrible. You can get up there. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. Die! And I stab the one here that is right over the commander. Parkour? Uh, parkour! 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 Okay. Uh, just a second. There we are. And. Waiting, waiting. Okay. Oh, another seven for a total of 17 to hit. Yep, hits. So that is doing 36 points of piercing damage. Excellent strike. It's magical, so it does seem to pierce through its magical. Do I, do I have a purchase on the wall up there? So I imagined you climbing actually up next to it. So you're now kind of a little precariously standing on this same lip below the dome that they are all perched upon. All right. So you um, are up there with them. I'm going to use Wait. my bonus action to disengage and then leap down. Okay. And Chael, you're up. What you draw in there? I have no idea. My computer just went. <laughs> Ooh. And a whole bunch of things got checked all at once. It looked like a snot trail. <laughs> gotcha. I sneezed. Okay. I'm going to use Produce Flame. And. Okay. I want to hit the little dude right in front of Jez Waldo. Okay, it's a deck save, right? And you cast this or it's action. I think it might be it's a hit thing, isn't it? I think it's just a hit, yeah. Yep, all right. Make a, a range spell attack. Bust it. Do it. Then Maris, you're up next. Ooh, nice. nice! 24 hits, 10 points of fire damage. Got it. Awesome. Uh, you can do your movement if you would like during the rest of, uh, during Maris's turn. Maris, you're up. Okay. You too. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't have, like, high enough level slots remaining to bless everyone. So, I should I just make an attack? Just... 
attack if you've got like a cantrip or something. Uh, Save the big guns. Dope. Great. So I will then use beep boop boop. Um, let's do some toll the dead. Actually, JK, I want to do Word of Radiance. Okay, if you get right underneath yeah. one, you can do it. Or actually, okay. right there is probably fine, too. So. Right here? Uh, where you were, because then where you I was? five feet up on the stairs, and they're okay. ten feet up. So Great. Okay, so that is what I will do, then. Okay. Wisdom save, or, yeah. Con save. Con save. Good at these. I've got a five though. So <laughs> nope. what's the, oh, that's an excellent word of radiance. Wow. 17. All right, cool. Hell yeah. yeah. Cool Z's. Larry, you're up. All right. Um, fra- So they're up 15 they feet, correct? Okay. I'm going to step back onto the stairs and I would like to Eldritch Blast this fellow here. Okay, go for it. Um, I have three of these coming in. Mm-hmm. Three beams at level 11. Uh, 22, 16, 19. Uh, yep, yeah, go ahead and roll the damages. So the damage is 5, 10, and 7. 5, 10, and 7. Total of 22 force damage. All right. Almost kills the one right above you. It's being blasting these pieces off one by one. The uh, bits of animated stone come kind of clinking down, but that's it. Anything? Yeah, um, I look back to Alimus. I said, do we need to leave room for you? Or are we good? You're good. I've got to okay. go after them though, so. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay put then, and maybe recommend for Cyborg to back up when he's done with his turn. Ethelflad. I will cast unmuted. That's what I will cast. All right. Um. So I would like to cast Hunter's Mark on that one. Okay. First level. And then I will fire my longbow. Fire my longbow twice. One, two. Both hit. Uh, <laughs> a 27 and a 29. I hope so. Um, Roll another d6, please. Okay, I see. So 10, Total of 19 18. damage. Eighteen. Eighteen damage. No. Ten, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen, I was right. Yeah, cool. Anything else? Nope. They begin to swarm you. One will come down to attack just Waldo. One will fly up over the top, um, attacking Akantha. Here, one will come down and... uh, This is what we're looking at. That's disgusting. Well, then. Dislike. All right, Akantha, I've got a bite and a claw for a 21 and a 17. If both hit, do they? Yeah, they, they, they both 15 hit. points of damage. Jaswaldo, I've got one attack coming against, two attacks coming against you. I have a 19 and a 10. I believe both miss, especially with your new married armor class. Um, Sorry, I can't see the zoom call. No! Right no, Maris! No! <laughs> Maris would like to use warding flare! Oh, impose disadvantage. All right. Yes. It actually um, does damage as well. Does it? I thought it just imposed dis. I thought it just imposed disadvantage yeah. on the attack. Uh, it looks uh, like it just imposes disadvantage on the attack roll. Oh, well, I was I could have her do it on the one that was attacking. Um, a Cantha. Uh, a Cantha, but I was yes. I was muted. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Mood. I see. Um, let's see. I thought it was only against things attacking you. No, oh, she's, no got impro- she's got improved oh, flair. That's exciting. Yeah. She has improved flair. Uh, unfortunately, um, I rolled another d20 and it came out higher. So, ah! would have been the same result. I apologize. Uh, Claire, one attacking you. Bite at 22 and claws at 11. Miss, wow, 22 misses, that's fun. Cyvor, I've got six attacks coming against you. Three bites, uh, Mm -hmm. highest of which is a 14, not good. Three claws, highest of which, I've got a 21 and a 23. Ah, both the 21 and the 23 hit. 
Uh, 13 points of damage total. Total, all right. Maris, uh, two attacks against you. Both uh, 18 is the highest, which I know misses your armor class. And Alimus, um, I've got a crit on a bite. And then I was going to say, I'll use my do... reaction. It's a crit, though. Uh, Don't care. I... I'll use my reaction. To do what? Instinctive charm. It attacks someone else. Oh, cool. Um, uh, DC 17 wisdom save. All right. Uh, you actually rolled. He rolled natural nineteen. Okay, he still hits me. So ten points of damage. Ah. And it's your turn. Uh, damage. Okay. Um. Uh, 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 oh, sorry, Cyborg. Roll high. I was gonna say hit him with something that gives him a deck save because I'm. <laughs> um. Yeah, he will. Uh, you ask for it. And then cool. we'll speak the words Gratum Inferno Liberabis. Oh, right. no, I know what that means. <laughs> he knows Left to right on all of these. First one, I've got, a, I've got five, 14, 11. Uh, then I've got 18, natural 20 for 20, 15. So, yeah. Uh, the 30 on those that failed. Okay. Oof. Betting that. Betting your saves. That was close to a one. <laughs> sure was. Cool. The one here in front of Maris. Nope. Actually, that's not the one that's been damaged, but it takes a beautiful fireball. It's 30. And this one is turned to cinders. <laughs> Anything else for Limus? Any movement? Um... Otherwise, we're on to Cyborg. So I've got a, so I had to declare uh, to take um, my inspiration before I jumped. So I failed that. So I take I take the thirty. Don't you have evasion? I I think I. Oh no, because evasion would drop it to half. Yeah, uh, that's so right. That's fifteen. Right. So fifteen. And you're up, Signore. It's a bit smoky. I did apologize. <laughs> I'm, I dashed most of it. <laughs> it's in my lungs. Oh, God, it burns. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Which one of you bastards is still alive? Um, Behind so, you. Uh, all around me, but thanks. Um, so he is going to attack uh, the one that's in between uh, him and uh, Limus. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> between everyone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one that's pinned... The one that's in the cyborg position. All right. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just do Moon Touch Sword and then Whip Crack. Um, uh, by the uh, way, Cyborg, um, Z uh, made a very good comment. I forgot because we're on a new map. Um, yeah. You made your save because yeah. my aura is up. I've just realized oh! that as well. Yeah. Boom. Thank you. That is correct. Oh, and, and then on top of that, I'm, well, yeah, 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 no, nope. You. Thank you so much, Z. You saved me. All right, so that's a 21 to hit the gargoyle. Um, it's 10 foot, right? Uh, yes, and that oh, sorry. hits, and it has three hit points left, and so it is destroyed. The first oh, one. God. Kaboom! Kaboom! All right, cool. Uh, so if I move, I'm going to get hit. So uh, well, let's take out the, well, I'll take out the one next to Maris. Or I will attempt to take out the one next to Maris using, so I, so the whip, so I rolled a 21 for it, which is short sword, but it's supposed to be the whip. And then the 19 is the whip. Does the 19 hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. All right. So that does a whopping seven points of damage, magical whi whippy damage to the one next to Maris. Uh-huh. And then is this thing in the air? Is it next to me? What's going on? Um, it is, it's kind of hovering five yeah. feet up. It's in range of you, but it's, it's in range of me. Okay. Excellent. Thing. So then I'm just going to go ahead and do that, like a, a wicked cool, like whirlwind spin kick. Uh, for my bonus action there, so wicked awesome. It's wicked awesome. With a twenty hits, roll the damage. Boom, boom. All right, and that's a and that's a, another six magical cool. monkey damage. Unless there's movement, we're on to Jeswaldo. No. Well, we'll whirl around and attack the one that is attacking Akanda with his luck blade. Hmm. Hitting AC eighteen. Hits. For Rolling 30. for a total of 30 points. Cool. 
Anything else for you on your turn? No, no, I am finished. I can't. <laughs> All right, I am going to do my beautiful produce flame again. Okay. Because I love it. You are at disadvantage as it is a ranged attack. So go ahead and make a uh, Good combat music. Yes. The first one didn't roll an attack, so make sure to. Which is strange. Yeah, that is weird because it always puts. The. Yeah. yeah. Roll again. Go ahead and roll again. <clears throat> Sometimes my computer doesn't like me. Sometimes it does. That's all right. Oh, we like you. We always like you. Unfortunately, with a nine, um, with this thing, with the it's bitten down on your arm, and as you try to cast the spell at it, it gets away. It just goes wide. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> Sorry, it hurts. It's biting me. Uh, okay. Uh, so. Maris will use the Mace of Disruption to hit the one right in front of her. Okay. And I roll the 17. That hits. Right. Six bludgeoning, 11 radiant, if it's an undead or fiend. It is not, but do you Damn give it. an extra bit of damage to your attacks as a cleric at your level? I do. I do. <laughs> Get that radiant D8. I get that radiant D8. That's right, Go baby. Roll D8. it. <laughs> oh my god, this voice. I don't know what's happening. Six. So that you guys see Maris um, stick the thigh bone and it kind of uh, cracks it on the shoulder and it, the, the gargoyle kind of looks at her and growls and then she just, huh, and <laughs> just gives it a little bit <laughs> yes, of attitude. She does. And the, there's some radiant energy that just. Um, uh, erupts from the bone and shatters the gargoyle into pieces. Yeah, yeah God, oh, I'm proud so of you. Yeah, I was you like, Maris growls back. Erupting from exactly. The bone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, girl, the you're right. master. I believe we're on to Claire then. Yeah, um, I'll t I'll aim my first swing at this one between um, Akantha and uh, Jiswalda with my sword. With his sword. With my sword for twenty-four hits. Uh, have eight magical slashing damage. Okay. Um, and if it is still up, I will attack again. Go for it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, not good. That was a 10. That fucking sucked. <laughs> you put a little extra oomph, not happy with the damage that was dealt the first time and causes Got a little excited there. <laughs> All right, uh, that's my turn. Athel Flood. Okay. I would like to fire with that one that I did the Hunter's Mark. Go for it. I will fire, fire mit my bull two more times. Mit dein your bull. Ja, genau. All right. Uh, 27 and a 15. Uh, they're both going to hit. Fish beta. 15 just barely. God, I love you nerds. Uh, and then plus, do you want me to Four roll a new D6? Post by Nahandi. Voiced mine handy. That the is best tall. Stephen Fry quote. <laughs> so, what? 23? 23? Yep. A and couple then, arrows. Just go ahead. Well, then I was going to have. I have Horde Breaker, too. But it's for a different. It's for another. Oh, you can uh, repeat attacking against a different target? Yes. All right, go ahead and roll it. Tell me which one. Yeah, break I, that Horde. Duh. Duh. Um, I will go for the one. Your okay. brother? For the whole like, I... D D <laughs> <laughs> Or is, it, is, that, is that too close for a range? Will that get me disadvantage no, for no, that no. one? Oh, actually, there is one threat. Yeah. I didn't. I somehow didn't realize that one. I didn't think that. Uh, one go ahead and roll me. two more attacks. We'll just see if these went through. Two, two more will. attacks. Yeah, yeah, for your second attack, just to make sure that. Because uh, you're at disadvantage. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I gotcha. It's like horde breakers only. Oh one. my god, it's the exact same. That's weird. <laughs> 27 it, was to, it was apparently meant to be. Twice. Cool. So now roll your third attack. Just roll attack with disadvantage. 
Oh. Oops. Because that Sorry, other one ig- was... ignore ignore that ignore that roll. Uh, can't do just... it. The un- oh, that's piercing. Play that. But you, you can't said... roll it. <laughs> abort! 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 Roll two more attacks. Yeah, that's why I was just yeah. Ignore that. Ignore that damage yeah. roll. Roll yeah. two I more got you. attacks. I'm, I'm on the. I'm on your wavelength it's, now. It's good. So one of us is because her her knows. her wavelength. Unfortunately, with a natural one, not gonna mm. do it. I had such good luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gargoyles. Y'all can now. Y'all good now. Yeah, tall. Um, you stabbed me in the back, Jeswaldo, so bite in a claw for 7 and 23. That 23 would hit, but I'm going to use defensive duelist to make sure it does not. Parry its claws out of the way. All right, Claire. Ooh. Come at me. Natural 19 for a 23, and then an 8. Nope. <laughs> That's a nope on the 23. My armor class is 24. That's dumb. Oh my god. Right. That's dumb. <laughs> Cyborg. Um, my highest two are 19 and a natural 20 for 24. Oh, yeah, those, those two will hit. All right. Can I use my reaction? On the first one, you have Wait, uh, that had your that? turn. No, she's had her turn, so her reaction has reset. Yep, yep. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you I, can. Wanna, I wanna help Cyborg. Uh, all right, let's see what this turns out to be. Um, we'll make the first one hit. We'll make the first one miss, sorry. So he will only take 11 instead of the full bit. Hey. Yay. Gotcha. <laughs> and so then Maris attacking you for 11 and 13. I know super misses. So. Bye. Delimus' turn. Um, okay. You know, if you heal, can you heal the temporary hit points? You can't, can you? Not temp. No, okay. I point at the one next to Acantha and cast... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to do... Mind Sliver. Oh. Intelligence save? 17 intelligence save. That's hard. I've got a 12. Okay, he fails, takes 13... And then you uh, dis- you get a minus 1d4 on your next saving throw. Cool. Cyborg. Before your next oh. turn. End of your next turn. Got it. I don't know why I did that. Alrighty. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and whip crack the, the guy who is right next to me and in between me and Maris. Mm-hmm. So, whip crack. 18 to hit. Hits. Lovely. That'll be six magical whippy damage. Then I'm going to go ahead and unarmed strike him so I can get that added bonus. Nice. Thank you. Oh, 12 will not hit, unfortunately. 12 will, will not hit, but it matters not. As The point is that the effort was made. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a bonus action unarmed strike. A team for effort. Hey. 25 hits. 25 hits. So... Pile driver into his face for eight. Cool. Dig it. Good hit. And that's me. Jeswaldo. Uh, Jeswaldo will attack the one that has been attacking a hunter. Yep. And then wheeled about to attack you as you pay. I'm hitting AC 27 for a total of 29 points of piercing damage. And that one crumples before you. The stairs are getting dusty. I will move to here. here. All right. Akanta, you are no longer under direct threat, no longer at disadvantage for produce flame attacks, if that's what you're doing. Yes. I'll say thank you for killing it. Then I'm going to go with... Anytime. Produce flame for the one in front of Claire. Go for it. Get it. Get it. Go. Go. Not quite yet. Ooh. So close, but um, the flame glances off of the sort of um, uh, rock solid armor of its body and does not damage it. Sorry, Akantha. On to Maris. Um, you can move Maris yourself, Akantha, if you would like. Step Maris, Maris had to step away to deal with her thing. Um, Maris will do. Uh, <laughs> Um, thigh master? Told, oh yeah, she'll okay. use the thigh master on the one she attacked before. Okay. 
Uh, do you have her sheet up? Or I do. Okay. Go ahead and roll it. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh my god. She'll be sorry that she missed that. She goes. Bah, 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 bah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, another t uh, another two d eight as well. Uh, oh so my uh, doing oh my a god. total of twenty seven with a natural twenty. Um, and that's a whole lot of damage. Another 2d8. Well, does the other radiant apply? No. 29. 34? No, it's so just... Five. No, um... It's just 17. Not quite that much, I think. Well, it 12, is almost dead, but it still survives that crit. Just 12 barely. plus 17. It doesn't get the 17 at the flat. That's yeah. only against undead. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> You're right. Liz! Liz, you got a crit! <laughs> Claire, your turn! <laughs> um... I'm going, to, um, uh, I'm going to step back um, and invite the attack of opportunity. It's going to bite you. <laughs> no. Um, and I'm going to shoot three more Eldritch Blasts. Um, I'll start with um, this one that um, Maris has been attacking. Um, cool. Spray and pray. Indeed. 27. Hits. <laughs> One force damage. Sorry. That was sad. Um, assuming it's still alive, which it probably is, I'm throwing another one in there. Uh, for 19, for 8 force damage. Ah, um, that will be enough to dispatch this one. Delightful. And um, what's what's going on with this one over here that has the little skull? Hunter's marked. On this one. Hunter marked. Okay. Hunter um, then um, I'll attack the one that is right up in front here. Okay. Um, with my last... Last Ooh, natural twenty oh. for eleven force damage. Bam. Ooh. Is it the hunter's marked one? I forgot. Or, no, I it's not the one out. in front. Okay. Uh yes. Nice damage. Awesome. Not quite enough to kill. Yes. It's me. Athel Flood, no longer disadvantaged. Huzzah! Alright. I will go for my uh hunter's mark guy one more time. Two more times. Awesome. Does the 16 hit? In, it does. I mean, it does. I was like, not the nat one. Damn it. And then plus my... Wow. Way to go, me. So Actually, that one was enough. It has 10 hit points. <laughs> so Nice the, one. One on the uh, hunter's mark is enough as it... Um, as Every it part of the buffalo. Just only <laughs> as much damage as is needed. All <laughs> right, and then I'm gonna go for that the uh, the one that was in front of it with my horde breaker for 27. Yeah. Yeah. For seven damage. Yeah. Very cool. Yay! It's looking rough. Exactly, bird. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Bird says. Yeah. This bird. Jezwaldo is being attacked for 15 and 19, and Cypher <laughs> is being attacked for 9 and 11. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's your guys' turn now, and we have a combined half, uh, combined two dozen of hit points between the gargoyles. Um, That's right. I feel you guys are smart and would likely yeah. not spend permanent resources finishing the two of these off. So we nah. will all this combat here. Huzzah! Delightful. Uh, shall we approach the double doors? Auto win. I am going to... I just realized something. My potion of heroism does not have a... It's an hour, it lasts an hour, right? Maybe. Let me double check. <laughs> I think so. I'm going to go ahead and drink that. Okay. Um, so I gained... 10 yep. temporary hit points which actually don't work. They last for an hour. Um, but for the same duration, I'm also under the effect of a blessed spell. No concentration required. That's very cool. Yes, it is. Um, before oh, going yeah. in, also, um, I would like to pass off to Cyvor an elixir of health. You are more mobile than I am. So keep this on your person. If someone needs it, get it to them, okay? You got it, Commander. Yeah. <laughs> question, question. Does... Mage armor work on a monk. Yes. Does he? Would it? Would he make benefit of it? What's your armor? I don't now? think so because he gets con bonus. So basically, yeah. mage armor gives you armor of um, three plus dex. 
Yeah, but he gets dex plus con for armor. Correct, Cyborg? Uh, it's actually my dex plus wisdom. Oh. Right. Okay, negative then. Okay, cool. Yeah. If you All had... Right. Um, actually, if you cast it... Athelflaed, what kind of armor do you have? Leather. You could cast mage armor on Athelflaed, and it would bump her armor class. By what? One, yeah? By one. Um, All of one. Yeah, uh, let me see what I've got. So first levels. No, I'll keep them for shields. Okay. Just in case. Because Ethelflaed's not really in combat. That's because... a good mage. Keep your spell <laughs> slots for shields. Yes. Yes. Yeah, do it. Yes. Do it. Um, All right. So how do we feel about approaching this door here? Kick it open. All right. Go full um, Aragorn. I'll, uh... <laughs> just... Oh, okay. Sure, Door I kick is it down. kicked open. A bam! Fuck yeah! There's a grand hall choked <laughs> with dust and darkness. Webs, oh. as usual, hang like drapes across the ceiling. Lifelike statues of knights line the hallway on both sides. Their eyes seeming to watch you. Now, oh, man, wand of secrets. Boom! <laughs> you detect nothing in range. All right. I'll divine sense. You extend out your sense given to you by Saloon, and nothing comes up on your unholy radar. All right. <laughs> I will... The radar of the damned! How much longer have I got off the tech magic? It's done now. Yeah. <laughs> it's done. That's how long. Okay. So... Down the hall, through the door? Down the hall, through the door. Um, I will look at the group, see if everyone's ready. Oh, yeah. And uh, take one step in, just to see if anything weird shenanigans happens. Nothing happens. Great. I continue walking down the hallway and assume that everyone is probably within 10 feet of me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you opening oh, oh, the door, the, the double rules. doors at the end? Uh, Can we... Yeah. Can we walk in slow motion, DM? I know. <laughs> Yes. Oh God! Can we strike? Oh God! No explosions behind us. So Alana, um, set up a fireball behind us. <laughs> <laughs> That's responsible. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I bust this door down so hard. Yeah. So I'll just give you a vision of all of this. Um, Surprise! This is a obviously a ruined <laughs> chapel. Benches coated with dust lie about the floor in a jumbled disarray. Beyond this light. Lit by a piercing shaft of light, an altar stands upon a stone platform. The sides of the altar are carved with bas reliefs of angelic base reliefs, I think. <laughs> right? Bar relief. Bar relief. Bar relief, yeah. <laughs> oh, reading, guys, I'm tired. Uh, bar reliefs um, of angelic e figures entwined with grapevines. The light from the altar falls directly on a silver statuette. A cloaked figure is draped over the altar and a black mace lies on the floor near its feet. Whoa. That's not him, right? I don't think so. Um, he would be far I, more theatrical. Uh, I'll throw another divine sense out there. No one dead. All right. Um, approach the... Uh, the altar, take a closer look. Okay. There is a um, beautiful statuette of a figure that seems to be kneeling in prayer. Um, does this person look familiar or um, what? Is there some way to identify who this is? Does it remind us of the gravestone that we saw out in the swamp? Um. No. Oh, okay. It does not. Um. The icon looks like this. Oops, I just not. That's not what I meant to do. Um. If it makes you feel bad, nothing popped up. Yeah. yeah. I know. I know. Um, it looks like this, which I am dragging it onto the map right now. Oh, I see. 
Oh. Interesting. Is that religious it iconography? Looks, it it does. Make a religion uh, check. Anyone uh, who would like to. Uh, Maris, have assistance. Oh. Yeah, I was going to assist. I said. <laughs> To both of y'all roll at advantage. All or right. Something. Yeah. Cyvor, you have um, sort of read about similar iconography, and Maris, you have experienced it in your training. That while this is not um, a particular saint or holy figure, um, the, the plain vediments, the style of the vediments, and then the... Um, gesture of supplication that it's in is meant to represent the entire order of clerics essentially so it is just a very um it is anyone a cleric of this order might represent oh this is this is how one would just represent any cleric of this order it is a sort of every man type of symbol i um not over but towards likely the body i'm oh, sorry yes um, I nod over towards the body and say, that's safe. Does anyone want to check that out? See if there's anything on there. I will investigate. Sure, I will. Oh. Or he will. Unless you can give me an advantage, if you like. I will do that, yes. Oh, 24. Okay, so he is wearing a cloak fur-lined along the um, collar but it is embroidered with golden thread. It looks valuable and um, and uh, very, uh, well, very nice, but it does appear to be ragged, threadbare at the bottom from some years of neglect, so likely not magical. Mm -hmm. There is a perfect mace um, of exquisite craftsmanship lying at his side. This, however, you think when you um, look at it, the way it almost has an, an oil-like effect on the dust and debris, where there's stuff falling everywhere, bits of plaster, dust, and um, fallen shards of wood and glass. Nothing has fallen upon this mace. In fact, there's even sort of a little, um, it almost looks like it has created a barrier to decay around it. Even the stone beneath it seems to be untouched by wear. That's magical. grab it and I don't know pass it to yeah. Maris she's Maris, the mace bearer yeah. I don't know if I'll put place my hand on it to see if I knew it does anything on the mace yeah it does not but um, you get a um, uh, almost that sense when I don't know if you any of you get this but this is a sometimes when you're if you happen to be alone in your home at a night and for some reason in the middle of the night it's dark in your house and you get scared for no reason for some reason you just think <laughs> it's just like wait what you just want to turn on the lights you get that same type of feeling by by touching this thing fear just sort mm -hmm. of distilled pure fear for a moment and then it passes i don't oh. i don't think you should be the one touching that alimus no but let me yeah what happens if i touch it Sorry. same thing Hmm. We don't have time for if, if it's magic. We don't have any it. time to attune to it, so just yeah. hold on to it. I'll place my hand on it, and and uh, obviously I'll pick it up with one hand, and place the hand on the front, and speak the words. Identitatum, testic noctum. Hard casting identify on it. Yes. Cool. This is a what's called a mace of terror. Well, goodness gracious. Yes. Um, it is a three-charge weapon. Um, you can use an action to expend a wave of terror. And creatures of your choice in a 30-foot radius must make a wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you for one minute. And it's the um, typical frightened thing where they have to use their reaction to flee from you. So... That us. is what it is. Unfortunately, it will take a long rest to attune to that. Just mute is shown. Just Waldo, you're muted. 
It's like there's a spiral staircase here. Do we go up or down? Um, just just a point of curiosity before we decide which way we're gonna go. Um, there is a a window, right? Like there are um paned windows that look out here, correct? Yes, they are up. They are up okay. one level. Um, I'm going to ask Cyborg if he can fly up and see if he sees anything out because this would look out, if memory serves, onto the back sort of courtyard area. Um, which was the last place that we saw Strad. I would be somewhat surprised if he was repeating himself, but there's a chance. Okay. Of course, Commander. And Cyborg takes whew, right up to the window and starts. Is it, so I, I guess because of the. I'm gathering because of the decay and the grime, he has to sort of like rub. Like, yep. So he's. Make a perception check. Level A. Come on, Hexbane. That's uh, 17 for that perception check. 17, you look out and it's raining hard, but you think potentially, perhaps, where you saw before, down the stairs and out on the overlook, a sort of shifting form of black, like a cloak blowing in the wind, looking over the land of Barovia. I can't tell for sure, but there's definitely something out there. Looks like it might be our guy. He has a flair for the dramatic. But that's where the card said, what are you fighting? And look in yeah. your map. Which way is it on your map? On my map? Mm -hmm. What? I mean, he's... That was so kind of pulling up the map. <laughs> Uh, that's not a real rule. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to custom do the uh, D4. Oh, that's fine. So he would be to the east, uh, if I'm looking at the map correctly. Yes. Yes. But there is no egress from the chapel out to the courtyard, is there? Not that you see, no. And what are these things here? Um, those are walls. You know that there is uh, oh, a they courtyard there, yeah. Do the yeah, okay. Um, then we, we need to go up anyway, don't we? In order to get out to Um Well, we can go back down the way we came. I mean um and try just, to go around through the courtyards can we just, outside like, the building. Couldn't we just smash the window, go out that way? But that's pretty high up, right? Let's you had to fly up to that. About 20 feet high. Ah. Right. That'd be really cool. Right? But as amazing as way. it would be to crash our way into battle through this admittedly gorgeous uh, window, probably not practical. Well, we have to find a way out there then. We can't oh, go back then. the way we came, otherwise we'll run right into Barry and her fight. What's this place here? Can we not go up here? That's what I'm thinking. We go up a level and try to find a way out there. Hmm, I agree. Well, if we're trying to go down to the courtyard, why, why are we going up? I was, is the courtyard, is he on the ground level? Yes. It's he this is. level. It's yeah, this you level. are on the same level, but there is no way out that you see here. The all, of the, fastest... all of the windows are very high up. So the, you, do, you can see... Um, so... Again, if you also there is a balcony too. Cyborg would also recognize if you were to let me double check that see if I'm right here about this. Yeah, so I know it's roundabout, but if you will follow my little um, tour here, are you on the oh, next page? Oh, hello. Now? Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you were to go up here, up these stairs, mm -hmm. follow it into where you discovered before. Oh. And go here, here, and then back through to here, the thing that will here. get us to the. You could go entrance. back down. It will yeah. take you a few minutes, and you will go past that battle. But um... okay, that's probably the fastest way mm -hmm. to get to the back. It is the safest. All right, shall we book it? Book it. Is it the book safest? Away. Is is there? My cons so the other way to go out that I know of is if we literally go out the front door 
and then kind of do what we did one oh, of yeah. the times that we went where we went along we the ran wall. around the exterior and then yeah i mean uh, so because pres- so. we're gonna have to go over that wall to get into the courtyard area yeah or also alternatively i think um let me double check the map here um so we could also just go out the um the front door and come around the side there's a chance that these gates are going to be closed that's where we potentially run into issues going out the front door and coming right. back around the side of the building um because there are like internal walls with gates right um so those are really our two options for getting to the back so in in terms of is it the safest well we definitely know what we'd be facing if we go that way the other ways we're not sure what we're running into we also aren't 100 percent sure of whether or not we're going to be blocked so the devil you know I'm just wondering, but that's... Oh. No, you are right to, to ask the questions. Just ready right. to go, whatever you need. All right, Commander, your call. All right. If you do want to go Let's through go the-, the window, I do have Featherfall. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, come on. Do- come on, the window would be cool. Yeah, I, who has the way to break cool. it down? I mean, I have arrows. Uh, like DM. Does it does it look like it? It's like easily like pushable. They're they're salt. I mean, you could break them, but they're solid stained glass windows. You talked about these as, you know, entrance points previously, and you just does anybody thought, have shatter? Mm, shatter no. would do it. I mean, also so would attacks, but it's also um, that would take some time. Let's just go around. Some time being like maybe a couple of attacks, but still, that's. Uh, Okay. It's drawing attention to ourselves tree. before we want. Oh, to... he knows we're here. Come he on. knows we're here. There's All no right. way he doesn't. Know. It's okay. So Cyber will fly up, and he's gonna like make three attacks on the windows if Claire says it's okay. In for, <laughs> in for it all, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we're out of the elements of the surprise at this point. The element of the surprise. He's going to go break them on down, huh? Yep, yep. Just like... He like whips that... Like like breaks his like whip out and smashes it like underhand overhand and then like gives a little pirouette and then then takes his bone wings and goes... Well, you smash it down with style. And sure enough... Dare I say panache? Mm -hmm. Hey, somebody make a, an announcement on the um, the uh, Discord page. Uh, if this is what I think it is, then we want to let everybody know it's happening. What, what's happening? We're just breaking a window. Oh, yeah. We're right. breaking and exiting, and what do you think? Is We're happen? kicking glass and taking names. You are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there we are. All right. And as all of you are there... Not to be a pain, but we're going to... Uh, whoops. Bring it back. <laughs> no. Not now. Um, so, you, Cyborg, you very loudly, with a couple of kicks, some sword strikes and stuff, break through that window. Can you kind of poof us out? Can you drive, like, just yeet us out the window? <laughs> yes! Yeet the Mima! <laughs> <laughs> yeet, yeet, yeet that yeet, yeet that fucking Mima! Yeet that Mima! Or it, like, are there like handholds or anything that we can like use to climb up? I don't know. Um, I think we should just jump in Featherfall. Difficult yeah. though, so um, you would have to climb up about fifteen feet and then jump off and fall about twenty. Yeah. Jump in oh. Featherfall. How long are the pews? Pew pews. Uh, they're. I mean, yeah, probably about fifteen, twenty feet ish long. Okay, great. So we grab a pew, prop it up against the altar behind to rest it again, up against the window. So it's a ramp. They can run up and out. Great Very idea, Cyborg. Creative <laughs> environmental use again. It's not Yay. the first time I've desecrated a church, but that's a different story for a different Oh, <laughs> wow. I want to hear that story. My training. It's in his journal. You don't have so to So who's hear. first? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'll go. I cast Feather Thorn. 
Yeah, I think we should all go together and yeah, be in a group just, around like Claire. Go up, yes. Like, yeah. get to, I'll get to the top and then wait for everyone to sort of get to the top with okay. me and then we'll all poof. So yeah, you're all kind of go up this. and gather there. And we're all st- st- standing on a window pane. Like Indeed. A jackasses. All right. And you <laughs> see a glowing red. Um, who's So who are the who's the first three and who are the last four? I'm first with Claire, Giswaldo, and Claire, Giswaldo, and Maris. It sounds like. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm I guessing. wouldn't leave your side. Are yeah. you kidding? Okay. Yeah. Okay. As you all okay. gather up, you see this. Cyborg has a camp. Orange glow coming through you? the rain. That looks like a fire. Dexterity saves, please. <laughs> oh. Everyone. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Everyone. Or just those first. You guys areas. all lined up on a pew. Yep. All good. Y'all get plus four. Yeah. Too hot. Hot damn. Hot dice, hot dice, hot dice. Oof. Six. Wait, plus four? Five. Plus okay. four. I'm going to use lucky. Plus four. Well. What do we think a vampire save is? I mean, I'm hoping a 32 is a high enough save. Yeah, no, I think you'd be good with a 32. If only I could save you guys. Hey. All right. Looks like we've got multiple from some people. That's a lucky, I'm guessing, a lucky point. Yeah. That's your last of the day, isn't it? That is my last one, yeah. All right. So 18 is a success. Everyone who is under 18, please Ooh. take 31 points of fire damage. Everyone who is over, take 15. Except if Ooh. you have evasion and you take none. Mm-hmm. Except if you have evasion and you take half. <laughs> so the fireball comes, we all just roll. Wah! I mean, oh, there's go. an explosion with us going in, fl- in slow motion. There it is. <gasps> Amazing. In- Wow. So you all are up here. That oh, amazing. Where's up here? Roll yourselves. Obviously, you are all thing. here. This is a giant map. Sorry, you have just heated you yourself out. And is someone actually casting Featherfall with a yes. reaction? Yes. Yeah. Alignment. I've already, already cast it and taken it off. Oh my god. Are we <laughs> actually that big? I thought on this map is we... larger. Or I might be misremembering that. Uh, That's just oh, no. where you are. Awesome. Oh, look at Maris. Oop. I'm always so Go, far Cyborg. away. Go, Cyborg. <laughs> Go. <laughs> hey, there you all are. Guys, it's time to roll some more initiative. Oh, God. Oh, oh no, guys. I'm going to use my inspiration ah. for initiative. And I'm gonna take one back. There's one more in the pot, guys. Here There's we one go. One more in the pot. I'm gonna, did did Akanta have initiative? Or not initiative? Uh, the inspiration. inspiration? Yeah, you've got one as well. Yeah. Yes. You've already <laughs> rolled. You, you needed to declare it, Akanta. Save it for like a just save or something. Just don't let me you die. Know. No, you, you got to. It's okay. Sa- save it for save it for the big stuff. You shall not die. Yes, that's what I needed. All right. <laughs> One didn't roll with advantage for some reason. Oh, okay, it's already a deal. Oh. Oh. That's not true. Because that is lies. <laughs> that's not true. That's impossible. That's impossible. Oops. You said there was one more inspiration in the in the pot. one more uh, in the pot, yeah. I'll take it. Okay. Here we right. go, guys. Holy Combat crap! Is on oh, tonight. here we go, guys. Um, those yeah, of you yeah. who this. have a uh, initiative, all right. Uh, Passive perception higher than um, uh, higher than sixteen. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See above here, a familiar face with two friends. God damn oh. it! 
who has been rolling consistently above 20 on stealth rolls through this whole thing, but is here um. for the finale. Hey, girl, remember us? Remember when we didn't kill you that one time? I think she's rooting for us. Just while someone for. called it. No? I will stride forward. Strad von Zarevich! I am this Waldo, Toga Rembo, La Tomba del Fuego, Santa Maliba Zagateca, the Hotel Santa Cruz de la Rosa, for your many crimes against the people and countryside of Barovia. Prepare to die. And I will use Panache. He oh. must beat a. Are you in range? Yes. Just has to be able to hear me. I think. Let me double check. Yep. You must beat a 24 with an insight check. All right. Um, does the, um, the charm effect have any effect on No, uh, he is not charmed. He gets a disadvantage to attack anyone but me for a minute. Okay. Gotcha. His eyes do indeed fix on you and says, hmm. and just smiles. That's my turn. Um, <clears throat> sort of stand here in the rain, <laughs> watching for a movement. <laughs> I thought Vlad is up next. God. Oh, um, actually, Apophlad, the end of your turn. Oh, God. You see him. What? <laughs> you mean Jeswaldo at the end of your turn? Uh, Jeswaldo, at the end of your That's turn, like, you see idea. him move behind this building here and disappear. How dare he? Legendary well, dare reactions. Yeah, move. Shoot the bitch up the top. Oh, thanks. I will actually I will sh shoot the bitch oh, up the top. I'm gonna sh <laughs> shoot the two ugly fuckers. We might have a chance to turn in the the Helga. <laughs> Helga's a piece of shit. She's a. She, uh, she's I bad. will. While we're waiting, I'll do Hunter's Mark. On, actually, the other one, the further, the further bitch up top. Um, <laughs> DM, yes. I have a question. Yep. Um, so Claire, with her shitty perception, would not notice this 100 p. But for those of the people in the party who have better pass passive perceptions than I do, um, would they maybe have noticed which direction the fireball was coming from? Like, was it say right out of across the courtyard, a la where Strahd was, or mm -hmm. was it? You saw a burning bead of light down here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Thanks. Oh yeah. Okay. So that lady has Hunter's mark. And I shall shoot her dos equis. Two horses? Yes. 29 and a 24. Um, yeah, both hit. Boom. You might need to move out a bit to shoot her. Me? Well, have all of you have jumped out, correct? Oh, we're, we're, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. So it's. 6, 17, 21. Okay. Wait. Got another. I didn't roll both damage. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Uh, 21, so 30. 30. Nice. 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 Yeah, nice strike. As the two arrows um, sink into this creature. It looks at you hungrily. Anything else? Uh, I guess I'll just move. Uh, where is Claire? There's Claire. I'm going to move forward a little bit so I get better line of sight for next time. Gotcha. Could we could we get the aura for Claire? On the um, I have it up. Oh, but, I uh... will just make it visible. Yep, I have to do okay. that next time. So. Ba -ba -ba, see, done. Thank you. Welcome. Uh-oh. And so 
Bible. Unless Ooh, that was good. doing some legendary bullshit have Cyborg, Strahd it's your Nanigans. turn. Okay, good. It's like Strahd Nanigans? Is that what we're talking about here? Strahd right. Nanigans. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Amazing. The musket hits yes. again. This is my boomstick. <laughs> <laughs> Sit uh, up, you primitive fuckheads. <laughs> oh my god. Oh that's, wow, that's a nice. good, good, boom. Boom. good oh shot. Oh my god. Uh, he takes the shot at the at the, at the vampire uh, that uh, Athelflaed was shooting at. Yeah, hits squarely in the chest. She did. She gotta be. I mean, Not yet, I think. Be dead. <laughs> awesome. Oh, um, that's though, <laughs> unfortunately... <laughs> Wait a sec. Let me double check something. Um, it's like silver bullet, close. yeah. Well, so it's it's got not this... vulnerable to silver. So oh, no. it is actually, it actually takes less, it takes half oh. damage from the musket, unfortunately. Actually, so you said I could use the sling plus one bullets in the gun? Oh, nice. you did. Not to, not to yeah, magic bullet good. my way out of this. Okay, but all right. <laughs> not refunding is is it's the damage included in that then? Uh, I don't think it is, actually. Uh, another one damage. Though. Yeah, another plus yeah. one damage to that. Ooh. Oh, thank you all. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. 20 magic bang. bullet damage. Yeah. Anything else? Figured we'd start this party with a bang? Heh. <laughs> Well done. Except you were number two. I started the party. It's okay. Oh, you were shooting. I didn't notice. <gasps> cool. All right. So <laughs> they <laughs> seem to start regenerating at the start of their turn. They begin scrambling down the walls. It's like they start running at you, and you at first think they're just going to leap off, but their bodies turn at almost a 90-degree angle as both on hands and feet they crawl headfirst down the wall. And yeah, start, freaking, but also kind dashing of dashing in your direction. Dashing. How bold. Does Helga Indeed. also do that? Mm hmm. Ugh. Ah! Trifling Helga! Trifling by you. You did detect undead. I was just wondering if she was as creepy as the other ones, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Survey says yes. Yeah. Elimus. Yeah, she's got that effect on women. It's just. Um. Okay, Alimus will see them come in, more worried about Strahd. We'll tap his staff on the floor and speak the words Orbis Autumn Presidium. Presidium. And a globe of invulnerability will spread up around him. How big is that, man? What? Nice. Ten foot right. radius. Hmm. Very nice. <laughs> hmm. And then there's a move action. He will step here. So I need a, I need my own aura. <laughs> Join the aura club. Auras. Yeah. Ah, ooh. yeah I already like auras. Blue. <laughs> blue aura. That's my goal, yo. Wait. It, so wait, Elimus, is yours? If yours is ten feet, Claire's isn't yours fifteen or no? Oh, ten. It's it's oh one. Oh, it's wait. Oh one. It's one. One foot. Thanks, Everybody Commander. <laughs> <laughs> That's our leader. Just ten feet. It's all good. There you go. It's immobile, so I will move there and then cast it. Sorry. Cool. Rush me done. All right. Let's do it, guys. Maris, you're up. Let's go. Ah, Maris will uh, cast. She'll use the holy symbol of Ravenkind <laughs> to cast to hold vampires. Ooh, what uh, what is the save again? It is a DC 15 wisdom. All right, of I have a 17, all... a four, and a 14. All right, Helga well, one of them is... passes, two of them fail. Helga is held, as is the other. Vampire spawn here. Anything else for Maris? Uh, no. Not at this point. All right, Claire. Speed. All right. <laughs> um, Paladin destroy. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm on a mission. All right, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to strike out at Helga. With advantage. <laughs> With advantage. <laughs> so exciting. Get it go, get it go, get it go. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 16. Not my best. 16 is going to hit. Oh, Yay. lovely. Um, 12, and I'm I'm going to toss a level 1 smite into that. Okay. For an additional 3d8 damage. Oof, not my best. 5, just to keep her from regenerating. Alright, what's the total? Uh, 17, and then another attack coming in. Um, it's a crit, right? This is a crit. It's going to be. It's got a bit, uh. No, it's not. No, just a dirty 20. Um, for another 9 damage. So, um, 21 magic slashing and 5 radiant. 26 total. Oh, you're thinking of Okay. That's my turn. Beautiful. Akantha. I'm going to scoot up just a bit, and then I am going to hit that beautiful lady Helga with a Produce Flame. Please. Nope. Ten. Unfortunately, that will not hit. You do have advantage on the attack, though, so you can try again. She is paralyzed. That is Come a on. 16? Yes. 17 damage. Yes. Um, Which reminds me... Claire, go ahead and roll another 3d8 plus another 2d8. Why? Because she was paralyzed, so you crit. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Okay, so another 5d8 total? Yeah, because both is, everything's a d8. Oh, okay. Everything's a crit. Yeah. Uh, so 28 more damage. Oh, nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Does that mean the Canthus is a crit as well? No. Okay. Melee attacks. Ah. But that does hit for 13 fire damage. 17 was the first one. Oh, sure. Okay. 17. Sweet. Yes. Burn, her, burn, the dress, burn. the nice dress you saw on her has burned away. You can see that the necklace is beginning to heat up and sear into her flesh. And you can, she is paralyzed. It looks like she's gripping her jaw tight and her eyes are wide. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I think this that's is, all I can do. This is the burning of consequences. Know that. Is that it? Gotcha. Jezwaldo. All right. I'm going to strike with advantage against Helga. I'm going to use Finesse Weapon Master, which means that these rolls will have a minus five. Okay. But I am also blessed thanks to the Potion of Heroism. <laughs> so I am hitting um, AC 25. Uh-huh. Um, just out of curiosity, what did I roll? 17. Okay. Well, For your sneak really attack, you rolled four rolls. ones. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh my god. But I also, but get, to, I also get I yeah. also get I also get to add ten on and it top is a of crit. Yeah. And it is a crit. Uh so what do you want me to do, DM? Roll all those numbers again? Um an extra five D six and extra D eight. Extra five D six and extra no, it's D8. not an extra D8. Yeah. Extra five D6 plus ten on so it's a so it's that roll oh, yeah. plus an extra five D6 and a ten on top for finesse weapon master. Yep. Gotcha. I didn't know that's how is finesse weapon master a new feat? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like great weapon master. You take five off your roll and then you can add oh, ten to I didn't even roll. I didn't even see that. That's don't great. you roll your weapon excellent. damage again though? Yeah, for the crit. Oh and yeah. a D8, right? Yeah, yep. So I said D8. Yeah. Yep. So D8. Ahead. That's a six. And another five D6. 5d6. Just fucking obliterate her. Come on. Do, 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 so 12. And then add all that together. 18. It's 10 18 on and 18. Top. 36. Oh, for 46. For, yep. 46. 46. That is more than enough. <laughs> to Kaboom. Her. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye now. Be bye done bye. with that bitch. That is that. I am done. done. 
Oh, I will use um, I will use my bonus action to inspire Akanta. Good job, Akanta. Thank you. I feel so inspired. <laughs> Very nice. Yay. Short and sweet. Alpha like Flood, you. you're up. I would like to Ooh. take my special magic sword. My, my space sword, and I will stab at the one right in front of me. Yeah, space sword. Space sword, 15 space and a 16, sword. but I guess plus four? Plus. I don't know. My brain's plus dead. Four? It was, right. a, long, it was right. a long day at work. That's with advantage, gonna... so 16 is that attack. Oh, that's right, with advantage. Yep. My brain. It hits the one, yep. I'll tell you guys, it was a long day. Of work. Oh! And another crit. Very nice. <laughs> and a, and a 20. Well, but. So, they auto crit anyway. Yeah, yeah they auto crit. The, anyway. so the, yeah, so but come ones. on, I rolled just, it. Just click, it's very exciting. Click the crit damage twice, it's easier. Come on, I clicked it. And I click it again. Oh, it's 28. 28 points of damage total? Very That's nice. Right, isn't it? 15, no, 26. Uh, 26. It's the one in front of you. 20, 15, 27. 26. Plus. Okay, 27. 15 plus. 12. Yeah, 27. 27. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A very nice hit on the one in front of you. Um, The other one, is she technically within five feet or is she too far for me she to hoard breaker? She's technically within 10 feet. Poop on a poop. Okay, never mind. You Yay. done? I'm done. Has to be oh, five right. feet for horde breaker. Uh, they're within five feet of each other. He said ten feet. No, within ten feet of you. Five she feet. She doesn't have a ranged weapon out. But that's She's true. Attacking melee. Yeah, it has to be the same weapon. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dig it, dig it. Okay, I'm Alrighty. done. Thank you. That's not good. Um, Elimus. Mm -hmm. At the end of Athelflaed's turn, you feel a cold hand come down upon your shoulder. Is it a spell? It is. N well, it is not, and you cannot see the source anyway. <sighs> okay. Um, and you take. Um, and let's see. Oh, what is it? What is it? Uh, sorry, I'm gonna just find this stuff up here. Uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Please make a con save. I'll use my reaction. Uh, DM, did you roll that at disadvantage yeah. because of the panache? I did. Oh, I have to shut up, right? Um, I'll use my reaction last second to move out of the way. Let's try to deter it somewhere Does else. Does it have to be one you can see? Is anyone, if I get attacked, anyone is within 30 feet of me. Okay, are you sure? That you don't have to be able to see the attack? Uh, 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 as an action, choose one creature. Oh, that I can see. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, that's, that's something different. Hang on. When a creature... Uh, yeah, it is where, where I can see. Yeah. Right. Uh, 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 con save, yeah. So what was the damage? No, nope, just 11 points of slashing and you are grappled and make a con save. Du, du, uh, I'm going to use my inspiration. For 14. Okay, cool. Globe of Invulnerability is still up. 11 points of damage, yeah? Yep. And I'm grappled. Hate that. Um... Gotcha. All right. Now, you feel a sharp pain on your neck. No! Take 12 points of piercing. 11, 7 points of piercing and 12 necrotic, assuming 25 hits you. Is that a disadvantage, yeah? Yes. Okay. Can I warding flare? I believe you also check and see if you have to be able to see... Well, he's already got disadvantage. You can't disadvantage again. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, point. fair enough. Fair <clears throat> so what was the damage again? Seven points of piercing and 12 points of necrotic. And your hit point maximum is reduced by 12. 
Okay. Going down, guys. We'll save you. Extra 20 on the Oh, side. nice. Very nice. Yes. And Not then the last bit is um, another attack at oof, 27. 11 point. This is he just crushes his hand down upon your shoulder. 11 points of slashing and 14 more points. Of is, it, is his invisibility spell... Is it an invisibility spell? It's still up. Even with the globe of invulnerability? Yes. Uh, what's the damage, sorry? Um, 11 points of slashing, 14 necrotic. Wow. One more con save. Uh, 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 I'm on 14 hit points. What? Yeah. Oh! 11. Oh, I'm, gonna use my, I'm gonna use my d6 that I still have. Okay. Your target here is going to be 12. 15. 15? Yeah, I'm within four uh, with Claire. Ah, okay. Oh, I see. I thought I thought you meant mine. <laughs> okay, it's still up. Whew. What does a globe of invulnerability, just sixth level spell, doesn't do anything? If it's a natural ability, then no. Uh, but uh, the other question is, is he affected by the um, holy symbol of Ravenkind? That we don't know where he was you don't when, know? Um, mm -hmm. when it was off, when it went off, rather. But you can see Alimus, his body jerking, and then just two spouts of blood just erupt from his neck. Can we sort of tell where that's coming from? Because he's he is he held still? He is, grappled. yes. You can so... tell that he's being grappled. And it is Cyvor's Could... turn. Okay. Uh, so, oh man. Help my friend. Uh, so I'm gonna move to here to try to make uh, attacks on whatever is um, holding Elimus. However, I imagine I'm doing so at disadvantage. And you're trying, yeah, you can, you can attack. Mm -hmm. you... Okay. Okay sort of judge where that might be and you can make an attack at disadvantage. Lovely. Uh, that is... Contro yep, that is control. Alright, so... Come on. Give that roll. That's not helpful. There you go. There we go. Ooh. Uh, wow! Ha! With disadvantage, I rolled... Nice, dude. Death. Very nice. So you feel your sword connect. Excellent. <laughs> and the suspense is killing me. Nice. Oh, sorry. First. Oh. Well, okay. The seven one is seven magical piercing. Uh, damage. Okay. Yep. So, boom. First blood. Huzzah! Now you're getting the party started. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, so, uh, upon seeing where my sword sticks, do I still have disadvantage on the next strike? Yes. Still an invisible target. Fine. All right, then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make an unarmed strike. Because it's what I do. <laughs> uh, 16 is the low. Um... 16 will hit. Oh, well, hot damn. All right, then. All right, then. So that's uh, another eight magical punching. Okay. Magical fist damage. Gross. All right. Uh, and wow. One last bonus strike. Because monkey business. Did that go? It did. Oh, and 11 is the, is the last one. 11 will not hit. Yeah, yeah there, yeah, there it is. Just punch through the air. All right. Um, now, since he's grappled, GM, since he's grappled, can I can I move away without taking an AOE, or is that AO? 
Oh. Uh, well, mm, you don't know that. I don't know that he's grappled. You don't know that's. Oh, I got you. I, that would not be something that you would. That's, uh, that's not a rule that I'm familiar with. There are some things that can only grapple once. Well, fair enough. But that, fair so, yeah. All right. So, uh, Cyborg will stand right there then and be like, hey, you suck. Gotcha. Good job. Literally, because you're a vampire. <laughs> Dinger. At the end of your turn. Oof, that's disappointing. Um, Elimus, you will feel the teeth come for you again, but will only connect at a 15. And do my do my vampires get um uh They're still there. Saving throws at the end of their turn? I don't think so. Against the symbol? Could you check that please, Liz? They do. She does have a plus one. All right. They repeat saving throws at the end of Oh, at the end of their turns. At the end. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's see if we can do this. On saves. Rolled a 22 and a 21. They end their turns. I know. Unparalyzed. Well, this one does. The other one actually had a turn. Because this one saved. So it's going to attack you, Maris. Uh, with a crit for a 26. Uh, gonna use your thingy. Pretty clear. All right, making the attack at disadvantage. <laughs> Second attack comes at a 13. It's going to claw you again. Coming at a 24. Oh. It will grapple you. Elimus, it's your turn. Um. I will. Bonus action, Misty Step. So here. And try to swipe at him with the Golthia stuff. Does it have reach? Um he was grappling me, wasn't he? You moved away from him though. Um, I'll go there and do the only thing I can is drink a potion of healing. Do it. Five back. All right. It is then Maris's turn. So can I try to, like, release myself from the grip of this? Do it again. The hold the vampire? I'm gonna try to hold the vampire. Okay. Uses another five charges, right? Or is it one? It's only one for this one. For hold vampires one. Nice. Gotcha. All right, we'll do some saves. Um, got a 20 on Hunter's Marked One. The one inside this thing here is now paralyzed. Eh. And that is all that you can see. Awesome. And we're on to clear. All right, I have no idea where Strat is, so I'm just gonna lay into this one again. Um, let's see, at advantage. 16. <laughs> uh, 16 hits. Yep, okay. Um, and that's an auto crit, correct? Correct. All right, so I'll throw another D8 in there. And I rolled a D6 back, so I'm sorry, hold on. That was really weird. Uh, so a total of 10 damage on that, and I will attack her again if she's still up. Uh, yes, she is. In theory, that's coming in for dirty 20. Um, uh -huh. total of, uh, 16 more damage. 
Um, and I'll, um, after I slash in her, I'm gonna sort of wheel around and sort of shout into the rain, like, Strahd, where the fuck are you? Stop hiding, you goddamn coward. Okay. And it's a compass turn. Yay! Okay, so the one that's paralyzed, we are going to spam produce blood. Can't say it. Do you have um, a heal? Do I have a heal? I have cure wounds that can be used once per long rest, and I do have a one potion of greater healing. Don't you have a healer's kit? I thought. Or who had the healer's kit? I have a healer's kit. Um, it's anybody that that's Alimus I can stay We need to we need oh, to okay. pump some healing into Alimus. Okay. Can you just like chug chug the uh, healing potion maybe for him or give it? Not actually chug it. For him. <laughs> I was like, I don't <laughs> want to play it at him. This for <laughs> you. You can administer one as an action. I can give him the potion as a as an action. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just really funny image like short little Akanta being like get down here <laughs> come here take your medicine <laughs> climbing up my robes okay, uh, which one of us needs to roll him or me for that? Oh, you, can, you can roll it just go ahead and roll it Thirteen. nice thank you kindly oh, yeah, very nice yeah uh you rolled a... Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Very okay. nice. Just Waldo, it's your turn. <laughs> you have a move or a bonus action. Okay. What do you mean? A Kantha. For a Kantha? Yeah. Um, so, is it raining, DM? You said it earlier is, it was raining. It is, though it is not um, to the point of obscurement. It's not. Is it possible to see rain falling on a form that is invisible? Ooh. Um. Go ahead and make a very difficult perception check. No, that's not going to be me. Um, I'm going to step here and attack. Um, this one that is held. Uh, As you step to... there, you feel a hand foot <laughs> step uh, place itself upon your shoulder. All right. As in an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Oh. Right. Twenty-seven is the number. All right. I will use Pinash. I will use. Um... Oh wait, nope. That will only bring it up to twenty-seven. I cannot. That would my AC would be twenty-seven. All right, 11 points of slashing as the fingers dig into your shoulder. I cannot see this, so I cannot uncanny dodge, right? You are grappled in that spot. All right. uh, in that spot here? In your spot there. In that case, I will make a perception tab. Let me make, take care of this damage first. I will make a perception attempt. So the passive perception is basically your trying to locate a creature from stealth. Regardless what it's going to be, that was going to be to try to spot him. You know he's next to you now. He's grabbing onto you. Attacking, there's no way to attack that's not disadvantage. But, so basically, the perception check is kind of irrelevant. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, okay. Could I try to throw my little bag of sand in his face? Um, coating his wet form with sand, allowing everyone to see it, or would it would the sand just become invisible? Probably just run off. All right, I will stab him then. <laughs> Coat him with blood. So a disadvantage, yes. Correct. So that is alt. That's not showing up. Is it controlling? Yeah, so I might have to roll this twice. Oh, I'm sorry. So I have to I switch around. Um, instead of the... Um, oh, interesting. You will see a... Um, 
um, as you chain your rapier, a barrier of energy ting deflects your. But this, this is a this a disadvantage. So correct. Oh crap! And the other one was a yeah. crit. So all right. He's and, here. Uh, the, sorry, the, 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 barrier the is not damage shield, was actually nineteen points of necrotic, and your hit point maximum is reduced by that much. So that was fine. So it was the not eleven. The action. It was nineteen. Yes. Nineteen. Okay. Hit point max. What reduced. was the barrier that come up? Uh, it looked like a, someone cast a shield spell. Do we not so hear he it? Has multiple reactions. Oh. Oops. Long rounds. <laughs> Just well though, your attack hits. Ha <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Sorry guys. Can I use the can oh, I okay. use the D twenty can I use the natural twenty? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's uh, still at disadvantage. Disadvantage. So uh hits with a thirty-four points of right. piercing damage. Concentrate that. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> thirty-four. And ooh, that's a tough one. He succeeds. That might have been a legendary resistance we just blew through right there, guys. It sure was. Uh, I don't know anything that can roll that high. It's a 17 DC. So. It's not that high. You guys make those all the time. Um, all right. But so the damage as well or no? What? Does it take into effect the damage as well, or no? It's just the DC. It's half the damage, oh. or ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Let's see here. So I still have a move and a bonus <laughs> the action. Speed is currently zero. Your right. bonus action. Panther. Um. The luck charm. Yeah. Annabelle heard we were in trouble. I was like, wait. Don't hurt my dad. Please. I'm going to bonus action. Uh, inspire a Limus. I'm going to say, he's right here! And I'm trying to grab his hand. So that's a d6 on top of whatever you roll next, Limus. Cool. All right. Alpha Flad, you're up. Okay. First thing bonus action. Uh, healing spirit at third level. Okay, where are you putting Commander Peepers, the healing spirit? Commander, Commander Peepers is going to go directly to Alimus and curl up on his shoulders. All right. Which will, because it's third level, it's going to give him 2d6 healing. Thank you very much. Um, at the start of his turn. At the start of his turn. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. And which means I dropped the hunter's mark on that one. All right. Uh, so then I will... Stabby stab the bitch in front of me. Okay, go for it. Advantage Aish. on the attack. Let's see if I can get it. Advantage. Hits. Roll an extra d8. D6, I mean. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Five, nice. Yeah, All right, it's still up though, looking so 16, worse so for I the will, wear. I will do it again. <laughs> oh. Roll that crit damage. Roll it. Will. There we go. So it's terrible crit damage, but that's enough to kill it. <laughs> Don't judge my crit. <laughs> oh yeah. No, crit like... shaming me. Crit um, shame. Can I? Uh, because the other one is within five feet, can I move and it's, get Horde Breaker? It's within five feet what's of where the, that what, one what is, was. How is the... the, um, the uh, what's the three? wording on that exactly? Yeah. yeah, let me get that for you. Horde Breaker class. So I just you, have to go dig in for it. So you have Horde. to be able to hit a, a creature within five feet of the original attack. So... Is, but maybe. I might have been too hasty on the, the first one there, so... That's not the right one, Teresa. <laughs> oh, yes. It, no, it did. It says within range yeah, of your weapon. If oh, I move, it's it, within range. It is. Please. Can you post? Can you? Can you? Um, can I share it it's in, in chat? the chat? It's in the chat. Yeah. It's in the chat, but it says you can make 
A weapon that you can make a, against a different creature that is within five feet of the original target, which it is. Which and within range of the weapon. Yeah. That's that's okay. the key. It's a tough one. Usually you make a weapon anyway. Uh, against a different creature that is within the original target and within range of your weapon. Uh, yeah, you can do it. You can move because it's satisfies all the things. It doesn't say, um, it doesn't specify anything. And you can move between attacks. So Yay! Uh, you can do it. Well, I will, but I make the uh, yeah, second attack. This one is not restrained. Okay. So then scooching my booch right up to it. And do one final short sword. From Hell's Heart, I stab at the... And it's a 13. Oh, no, I don't get the plus four on an attack. Right. Um, it is oh, just a regular yeah. attack. Sorry. After all that, and it didn't hit. <laughs> it's cool, though. It, ma it matters. Hey. All righty. I got one of them. <laughs> Someone's turn. Um... Uh, apologies, uh, uh, Jeswaldo, you can return your hit point maximum reduction. I pulled that off the wrong thing, so. But it is the turn. Is you were taunting me? Oh, I'm going to get attacked, aren't I? Uh, no, he is just going to try to bite Jeswaldo. Oh, no. That, that attacks my heart. <laughs> I still uh, feel attacked. He has a 27 to hit, 7 piercing, and 12 necrotic. This time, 12 necrotic is reduced from hit point max. And then he will squeeze your shoulder tighter. Oh. Does 23 hit you, Jeswaldo? Not with Defensive Duelist. You don't have to see it to be able to... Uh, that's a good question, actually. If not, it would be very impressive. He is very impressive. When you are wielding a finesse weapon with which you are proficient and another creature hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to add four to your AC for that attack. Wow. Mm. All right. So in that case, you do deflect it. Right. Ding! That's amazing. Cyvor. All right. Uh, Fuck him up. Yeah, seriously, right? So. Um, and at the, sorry, just while at the end of your turns, you see just kind of, everyone can see it actually. What looks to be tink, 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 tink. Probably two dozen, maybe 30, 40 metal coins being dumped onto the ground, all silver with the profile of Strahd von Sarovich stamped upon them. Oh, shit. Cyborg, you're up. Well, I hate that. Alright, uh, Try so... Him. What's that? Try and grapple him. I, I can't even see him! Uh, so try. Alright, uh, so, uh, gonna go ahead and move to there. And... Oh, Fuck a duck. All right. Um, I am going to features and traits and things I don't know. Um, oh, my favorite song. <laughs> features and traits and traits things and I don't know. know. Yeah. La 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 la. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Well, okay. First, I'm gonna see if I can actually hit the bastard. I imagine I'm still making attacks at disadvantage. Right. Because that's the way. Invisible we... target. Uh. Oof. Twenty and a ten. I imagine the ten misses. Yeah. Ten will not do it. Alright. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Alright then. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and do the unarmed strike at disadvantage. There we go. 28 and a 13. I'm just feeling sad now. 13 right, uh, still is going to be yeah, not quite enough. Yeah, so 13 is still a no good. And then the last unarmed strike. God, 
another 13 and 19, so 13 is no good. That's uh, three swings and misses, friends. Mm -hmm. oh. And I am grappling Maris. Tried to bite her with a 14. That's no good. So Claw's coming at eight. That is quite a turn. Bye. It's Alimus's turn. Me and the vampire can compare notes. I. See, so just what I was pointing to here, was he not? Uh huh. I'm going to cast a spell magic here. Don't forget to roll your healing. Okay. And also step that. forward so that if he tries to use a spell, it doesn't work. The immobile thing doesn't work. Uh, move anyway. Oh, it doesn't move. But he, he can't target. Well, I was I was hoping he might expend a counter spell because it wouldn't work. He is pretty smart. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. He uh, where is this? Right. He will. Do you have um? Uh, please roll for your dispel magic. And granted, so uh, just a clarification, this is a thing. Dispel magic is incredibly powerful. You can't target an area. You have what? to target it like a, a creature you can see or whatever, but you can't see him. However, you can choose a magical effect in the area. Yeah, if you know there's an invisible creature nearby, you can target the invisibility and cast dispel magic. Yes. However, for this, you need to roll. Okay. What do I need to roll? Don't forget your... Um... Yeah. Uh, as your thing. Inspiration. What do this I is a um, caster level check. So uh, just. What do I click on for 20 that? plus your intelligence. Uh, somebody give it. Uh, I'll give you advantage. Inspiration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Roll. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. But I will roll a d6 on top of that. Oh, Which all right. Yes, 19. Hey, 19. Appearing uh, behind Jeswaldo, his blood ah, yes. dripping from the side of his face. <laughs> there you are, you bastard. Hello, my friend. Hmm. And at the end of your turn, mm. he will. Hmm. Pleasure to have you all here again. Please allow me to repay you for all you've done. And he, again, just dropping coins from this bag that he has, walks past all of you through the wall into the chapel. Mm -mm. No. No attacks of opportunity. Oh. Maris, really? you're up. Oh, okay. So we can't get to him, right? Like, I couldn't get into the chapel. Yeah, yeah the, the window is 20 feet up. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so, and I, I'm still grappled. You are. Love that. So, can Love that. I try to escape? <laughs> um, <laughs> you... Just hit it. Yeah. Whack, whack it with a divine master. You can make can an I... athletics or acrobatics check, or you can just attack it. it. Oh, okay, great. I want to whack it with the thigh master that makes <laughs> a disruption. Disrupt Go for it. Right. Ooh. See that is why you have a really good hit. Six. <laughs> and do I roll again? Um, it's just the attack. So don't forget she gets the divine strike. Do divine strike. Roll a d8. Roll oh, an extra oh, d8. Hell yeah! Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> All right. 15, 15 against damage. an undead creature that has taken damage. What does that do? It's taken a lot of damage. Yeah. Has it? I if so. it has yes. 25 hit it points took, or fewer. It, took, it does not what? need to make a save. Well, it took like it. 30 points of damage on my first hit with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But All it's right. still not below 25. Okay. It's beefy. Fair Anything enough. Anything else? No, she's just frustrated. <laughs> All right. Claire. All right. Um, 
that bitch is still up, so I'm gonna step over here and try to help out my friend. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 19. Four. 11 slashing damage. 11, nice. And again. Four. Uh, whoa, what is heck? Oh, so many things are being rolled. Ugh, that sucked. That was a 12. Not gonna be quite enough. Yeah, I didn't think so. Dodges out of the way. Brings us to um, Akantha, unless you have something else. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just... Ah! It's frustration. That's gotcha. It. <laughs> Akantha, you're up. Good use. Right. Good use of a bonus action. <laughs> I am going to do produce flame. All right. Oh, oh. That should hit. Go 34. Yes. Critical so hit that, on produce flame. Was... Wow, look at that yes. damage. Wow. <laughs> Die, oh, bitch. Holy shit. Oh. 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 Cinder. 51 <laughs> points of damage is more than double what you need as you throw this oh. enormous ball of flame and incinerate the vampire spawn grappling your friend. That's right. Don't mess with the 18. <laughs> Anything else from Akantha? Uh That is it for right now. All right, Jeswaldo. Also, Alimus, did you heal? Did you roll the healing at the beginning of your turn for the Commander Peepers? I did, yes. Okay. She, uh, she'd already rolled it, so... Got it. Awesome. Cool. All right, Jeswaldo. Did it already roll? You, yeah, you rolled nine. Can't hear you, my friend, but... Can't. I drank my last healing potion for four points. Okay. Oh... Um, and I will step into the globe of invulnerability. Uh, oh, um, many coins on the ground? Yes. Um, could I pick them up? You could pick up a few, yeah. How many are there? As many as your dexterity bonus. There are dozens and dozens. Why is he dropping coins? He said something about repaying us for everything we've done. I think he's being cheeky. I think he's going to cast that freaking spell that you cast at him when we were downstairs. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, no, the minute he, I, I saw yeah. it, um, it like, you remember when you started to turn those things into daggers and then it was like a stab fest? Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Let's not have that. I pull out a bag. A bag? <laughs> and I just throw it down on top of him. He's like, are they all in one spot? No, he trailed them with him as he was going into the globe and as he went into the chapel. All right. Then I step into the globe of invulnerability. That okay. I won't try to pick up any of them. Oh, I'm oh, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Ethel Flood. Uh, shit. Um... Uh, huh, 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 huh. I'm gonna do something really sad. Can I, can I take off my demon goat cloak and cover some of the coins with it? Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I will also yell, "Get away from the wall, you idiots!" Yeah. You could try. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, there are dozens of them here. Yeah, so just like a chunk of it, like uh, in the area that he was walking, like along the trail. Okay, if you want to use your action to do that, you can. Um, go ahead and make a. Oh man, that's interesting. I. Um, uh, make a dexterity check. Dex. <laughs> okay, uh, fourteen. Okay. Uh, 14. <laughs> a ch check. Not a saving throw. Uh, 10. All right. <laughs> um, and at the um, top of as uh, we come to the next turn, you hear words being spoken and nine coins start to start to spin around in a bit of a vortex. Aimed at Elimus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Okay. I've got... Um, attacks coming at... Let's see. I have 24, 16, 20, 13, 18, 17, 26, 24, and natural one on a nine. Um, there's still a magical effect that can't affect me while I'm in there. That is not correct. It is cast from within your barrier. It's cast within? Yeah. Then I will oh, oh, because he's... Then. So... He's, he's still in the... He's in the barrier. So technically, when Elimus first cast it, he then moved and the barrier shifted with him, so it's not actually where Elimus is right now. Or well, at least I take it he can see those coins then from there. It does not require line of sight. Mm -hmm. Oddly <laughs> enough. Da, da, da. Okay, so what um what hit sorry? Um twenty six. I have a number of attacks and twenty four, two twenty fours. Um I, I have twenty shield. as well. Okay. What does that bring your AC to? To twenty four. Okay, so three hits. Uh seven, six, and seven, so three con saves. So, so I can't I I can't counter that then. You can't see the casting now. This is seems weird that he can cast that because that's surely got to be. It there are certain it's spells not, like the spell magic that do not yeah. specify line of sight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's being a clever motherfucker, and by he I mean Peter. It's him. <laughs> I this is I don't play all enemies like this. This is a no, very but, particular you know. battle. You're also running him, so, mm -hmm. you know, hats off to you in a really frustrated way. Okay. <laughs> um, it's all right. We don't need a wizard. We don't need a, we need a wizard. We'll be fine. So, God, again, no. so it's 20 total damage, but I need three con saves. I just need to be 10. Well, there's one. Eleven. Oh, because of yeah. Very good. The globe is still up. 20, Cyborg. Um. So I, can't, I can reflect those though. As a. Uh, mm. I can reflect one of them as a reaction. Oh, you already used shield. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Now right. again. So I'm going to use my second wind to recover some heals. What'd you say at the end of your turn there, Jade? So I've got to go down again. <laughs> oh. Well, all right then. Um, and then, uh, Peter. Yeah. If I take to the sky and line myself up there, do I have line of sight on suck face? You would need to go inside the window. Huh. Um, correction, DM. Isn't mm -hmm. he 20 feet up? No. No. He walked through the wall. Right, so you, but you're saying I need to go through the window to actually have a line of okay, sight. So on. the 20 foot wall that he, he, he yeah. walked through, right? Yeah. So if you're here, oh, we have to climb up to get over the wall. Unless you get okay. in and then yeah. can look directly down. I got you. Okay. I that, got you. Sorry. If that, no, no, no. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> So let's see. So then from that location, I've got. Man, that is really crappy placement. Ah. <laughs> How the fuck? So if I pop in there, um, do I have line of sight? You do. Yep. He is 20 feet down and 15 feet away. Fantastic. Uh, musket shot. Oh, Did boop. you use a bonus action to reload then and yep okay oh no no you know what you're right i absolutely cannot do that because i already used my bonus action for second wind so okay. negate that and i will just be flying over yonder uh taking my second wind and that is me okay <laughs> well i miss it's your turn 
Um, so I'll take Mr. Peepers. Huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. Five back. <sighs> it's not... I mean... <laughs> we either need this wall down somehow... I can drop it like that. No, we need the wall of the, the castle the building down. building wall. Yeah. Or... We need someone to do something with all these coins somehow. Ugh. Where are the coins? Spinning in a vortex around you. In a vortex around a limus? The whole sort of sphere, yeah. They're just zipping in and out of the area. <laughs> yeah. Is that that's all the coins? There aren't any more like hiding on the ground? That's all the coins. You said nine of them are doing that right now. But. Um, yeah, you can attack them. They do have an AC. Oh. Um, I dropped the globe. Globe Actually, is dropped. Before I drop it, I will... To, to drop it, I will cast another concentration. Which is great in invisibility. Okay. And then I will move to here. So the the the, the globe's gone. Okay. All right. I will remove said aura. So we just see. So, but we don't see a limus. He just goes whoop. Mm. Correct. Okay. Are there still more? He took a limus inside. <laughs> behind you, you, idiot. Yes. Are there still more <laughs> coins on the ground? A few, yes. Um. Some of the ones that were tried to be animated thanks to Athelflaed using her action to cover. It wasn't great based on the roll, but she did reduce the number of coins okay. that were animated. Killed the coins. It is Maris's turn. Okay, so I really want to put sunlight on Strahd, but it's like, can I even do that right now? Wait Dad. until you... Damn it. You can hold an action until he comes out. Okay, yeah, I will do that then. I will hold the action of sunlight until he comes out. You could do Word okay. of Radiance and all those well, animated objects would need to roll. So he... True? Will that expend the charges if she holds it and then it comes around and she can't see him? Um, DM. She, the trigger is her seeing him, then yes, she would need to see him. It, she no, specifies my, the trigger. Sorry, what? My, my question is not the trigger. It's about whether she, like, you know, when you, when you cast a spell to hold an action, like yeah. I hold an action to cast uh -huh. whatever, you actually have to cast it. And if, if it comes Correct. back around and the trigger yes. didn't happen, you lose the spell. Will that happen here with the charges on the holy symbol? If she does that. Um, interesting. Um, I don't know. I am. Uh, sunlight. Uh, I'm gonna say no because it's not specified okay. that that happens. So sounds good. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. So. So the the coins I could. They would take damage if I were to word of radiance. Uh -huh. Okay, well then, I guess I'll do that instead. Okay. What we got for... What we got for hit points? Okay. What? Ooh. All right, I'm rolling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One of them made it. Okay. And the rest... Um, and they all get really radiant and hot. They're not dead. <laughs> But uh, you have um, reduced their hit points considerably. Okay. A lot, actually. So you did. You did seventeen times nine damage total. <laughs> yeah. Well. Good spell. Face of Strahd is melting from them. Anything else from Eris? Uh, no. We're on to Claire. <gasps> um. I am not sure what to do. Um. Okay, so he's still behind. Oh no, he's. We can't see him anymore. Shit. Um, I 
that's not really climbable, right? Half your speed would take, or using your full action to move your full speed at a climb. So. That's, uh, that's not ideal. Um, really, really quick, I'm going to let um, Ginny fly up off my shoulder and just fly to the height just past to see into the room and see if he's still in there. Okay. Um, being, if you're going to be, so I have a little philosophy I know we're getting okay. with familiars. Sure, sure. So if he was around you guys and you are using him in combat and everything as opposed to a friend, he would have had to make that first deck save against a fireball of 31. Okay, then I'm not gonna, no, I'm not even Let's, gonna bring her into yeah, this then. I, I, That's totally fine. Someone, yeah. No problem. Um, Then I look at the group with a, just a big like, <laughs> and I am going to hold an action to cast Eldritch Blast if I see him. Cool. Akanta. Okay, so I can either hold my action or I can use my bones of the earth and if six people are willing to choose to fail their sex dexterity saving throws, I can lift y'all 30 feet up so you could get in the windows. The only problem with that is all he would do is go outside. Yeah. The pillars stay, they have 30 HP apiece, so they stay there until they're taken down. I mean, maybe, then I've got the maybe people with healing. ranged attacks wouldn't mind that. Wait, well, what if we try to draw him back out, like pull ourselves away from the wall so that he has to come back to us? Okay. Uh, if that's the case, then I will move next to Alimus. Can you hit the uh, the coins again? Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could do produce flame on the coins. Do you on have one an, of them, yes. Do you have an area of an attack spell? Area of an effect? She could ice knife, y'all. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I have ice uh, knife, but I don't think uh, we want yes, that. You remember ice knife. <laughs> <laughs> I could gust of wind them. Does it do damage? They hit something. You could slam them into the wall, right? 60 feet, a strong line of wind, 60 feet long, 10 feet wide. Must save or be pushed 15 feet away. No, it, it would just move things. It would just move it. it I don't, it, yeah, it wouldn't do damage. Take like some random piece of clothing and just cover it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could take my cloak off and put it over the coins. It would be better to try and attack one and disable it. Um, no, that's fair. Yeah, that would actually destroy it. So, okay, uh, I can use produce flame then. Thorn whip doesn't have a, a range. It's just a range. thorn whip is better because you won't be at disadvantage because it's melee, and it was in Limus's space, so it's going to be basically they're going to be swirling there. So, okay, so thorn whip on the floaty coin thingies. Go for it. Thorn whip it. Whip it good. Sorry, um, nine, they are moving just too fast. You are unable to hit one. Okay, then I will finish by moving away from the wall. And that's all I've got. At the end of your turn, you see him move. Um, You can all see him walk through the wall here. Move here. Held action triggers for attack. Uh, delightful. I, I don't cast see where he went. Eldritch Blast. Oh, sorry. I attack three times. Oh, there he is. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, crit 22 and 18. Um, yeah, those are all three going to hit. All hit? Okay, yeah, so, um, 13 plus 3 plus 10 is 26 force damage. Ouch. Mm. Force to reckon with. And Maris, were you holding hey. your action to release the thing, or did you use a different one? She I used, a word, used the word of radiance. The word of radiance, okay. yeah. Okay. 
Cool. And it's just one of those. Uh, wait, oh, and he finishes his move here. Which is behind a wall. Uh, this is, you can see him. He. Uh, but the gates are down or up? Uh, they are down. Okay. Oh, they're up, sorry. Oh, so he can go through. Yes, he okay. moves through the open gate. Got it. Hmm. Nope. Can't get to him. Let's see. That's, that's okay. <laughs> Ethelflaed's like, I got him. Um, I pull out the uh, crown. I was hardcore wearing that. Oh, you are? I take it off your head. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely crown you found, Claire. It'd be a shame if somebody were to step on it. <laughs> like, grinding my foot down into the metal, trying to bend it. Oh, shame. I kind of liked that. Yeah. Sorry. Hmm. That is all I do. For my turn. Oh, uh, if, if you uh, says, Maris. That name. And he winks at you. Ew. <laughs> no, um, to just he winks at Jeswaldo. Ew, ew. He says, I have a tomb with her name on it. Double ew. Oh my ew. God. <laughs> and then. Looks at you, Athelflaed, as it's about to be your turn, and then moves you on in the wall. You fight like a farmer! You uh... sack of shit, motherfucker. <laughs> Athelflaed, it's your turn. I'm still casting Lightning Arrow anyway, you bitch. Okay. Um, how dare you ruin my perfect plan of perfectness. Um, let me double check real quick. Where is my... Well... <laughs> if I move, do I? He's in that perfect spot, so I can't get line of sight no matter what. We all need wings. <laughs> you are my wings. What you do, an alpha flood? I was really hoping I could somehow weasel my way into line of sight. Damnation. Um, I guess I will move and then hold my action until I get line of sight on him again. Okay. Where are you moving to? Uh, if I move, I'm away from Claire and her aura, and Commander doesn't like when I do that. Do what the uh, fuck you want, it's Strahd. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to die horribly, yeah. though. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that too. Sugar I'm gonna, I guess, just move one little tiny square over. Okay. No, I don't like that. No, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna think about it. That's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna hold my action until I have line of sight on him so I can shoot him with a whole bunch of lightning. Go ahead and take the attack. <sighs> oh, he's moving. He that's moves back up. into sight. I shall take the attack, you motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because my attack is two attacks. You get one on the held action. Only one. Aww. I was hoping we could sneak that. So the 17? Uh, 17 he will hit. Um, okay. So it hits with the... So it hits with a nine for the basic. And then he has to do a deck save for my lightning arrow. No, okay. he's because he's alone. I never get to use this because everyone is always I'm around. 21 it. on my decks. Okay. Poop. 4d8 lightning damage on a hit. Uh, miss. Half. I think the damage has already been rolled up, up there. It's at 13. So just the 13? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, anything else? 
That was her held action. She's done. All right. And beautiful. Um, is, is it 13 or, or is it 25? The 13 and the 12. Good. There's never no mind. That's for his neighbors. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Cool. Uh, beautiful. All right. Um, I need he steps a bit back and smiles, and I need everyone there to make a dexterity saving throw mm-hmm. versus a fireball. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> I dispel it. You cannot dispel it. Can't, you mean uh, counter spell? Dispel it. Sorry. You are Bye. 75 feet away, I think. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. I failed. I got a crit fail. Oh, I got a nat 20. Good for you. 18. 18. 31 what? damage on a fail. What's the DC? 18. 31 damage. Yeah. I'm down. I miss his down. Isn't he invisible? Also? He's not. Oh, okay. Never mind. I got you, boo. No Yay. damage. One. No damage. Oh, but you and me, Cyborg. Come on. Yeah, right? <laughs> no damage oh, for dead. Sorry. Do, do, do. I like Liz I'm sneezing in into her D20 pain. over there. That's a. And then I will. Let's see. I can't. Where can I move them to? Here and here. They can, they're tiny, so they can share space. Maris, you can take an attack of opportunity as the tiny um, pieces of uh, coins move out of your range. Love they it. begin to flit around Cyvor and then okay. attack Illinus. Can I do Word of Radiance on those suckers? Nope. Unless you have Warcaster. Oh, I do not. They can't, can I just hit it it's then? It's not something that I could hit as well. They don't move out of your range. Uh, so can I hit it with my mace? Yeah. Dope. Seems extra, but, you know. No, worth it. 12 is not enough to hit one, unfortunately. Fair enough. Oh, my goodness. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is Elimus dead. As his bonus action, yeah. 22. Uh, Elimus, what's your AC? Uh, 19. Fuck. All right. He orders them to continue attacking, and you see the coin soup, 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 into Elimus, and his breathing stops. So Fuck. Undead wizard. Ivor. And that is like no healing potion can bring that man back. He is dead. <gasps> Forever and always. Unless we can get him back with a revivify, but that's um that's it's gonna be after combat. Job. Yeah. Yeah. It is an action, but I think so. Alrighty then. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, so Peter, am I in range of the coins? You are. Okay. So I'll start uh, taking out the coins. Leave, no, leave the coins to Maris. Go for her. Go after him. All right. All right. Um, so he's just he's just standing there like a jackass, isn't he? You're the only one who can keep up. Great. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move to there with my fifty. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take you like you see. Cyborg like spread his wings and just <laughs> takes off into the air, flies up to just above this crenellation there. Mm-hmm. Uses his uh, bonus action to reload the musket. And then takes a crack shot at the Lord of the God damn it with a nine doesn't does not hit. So. Does not do it. Nope. And that's me. Maris. Oh 
I can't go revive Alimus right now. You could. The problem is that he's very likely to get knocked back down again, um, since he'll come back with very, very low hit points. Yeah, he'll come back with points out. So if there's something else that you can do against uh, Strahd, um, yeah. you'd be better off doing be the Radiance. Dope. Okay. Or like do... the Sunbeam or something. Well, can Maybe. I see Strahd? Is he in? He's my... straight across from you. Well, then I would like to use my. Holy symbol, or the uh, holy symbol of Raventine to cast uh, sunlight. Okay. Right on that son of a bitch. So you just point it out, and it has thirty foot radius of uh, bright light right. and thirty dim. So you get yep. sixty essentially. Yeah. Yep. I'll m- move your speed before you do that, Maris. Yeah. Yeah. Go over to him. Yeah. yeah, I will. Yeah, sorry. Stop standing in a clump, everybody. Uh, nah. Fireball clump. Okay. That's as far as I can get, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That'll do it. Mm. Great. Nice. Screw that guy. And you can. <laughs> he hisses at you. Good. And on the, at the end of your turn, he will move out of the range. Um, well, last ten minutes, so. Oh, Akanta. Um, I have a turn, I hope. Oh, I, po- I skipped it. I apologize. It is it's okay. Claire's turn. I'm does, gonna book it. Just quickly, Dim, is he moving? If he's, he's not using bonus actions to do movement, is he? He's using legendary actions. Yeah. Yeah. Rude. Because he's a traveling mother. He hasn't used bonus mm-hmm. action for anything else. Then. Uh, he used a bonus action on his turn to repeat the damage on the yeah, yeah. animate objects, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> like Astral Hellhound said, this man survived a house falling on him. His time cannot be over yet. <laughs> He's dead. That's great. What you doing, Clear? Oh, I ran. Oh, that's it? Yeah, I ran so I, far away. I dashed. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm trying to chase him down because fuck this fucking shit. He smiles. I'm proud of you. Bastard. And it's Akanta's turn. Okay. Akanta has had enough of this bullshit. Yeah. So. I am not going to use my six level spell slot. I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to use my fifth level spell slot and cast Moonbeam on that motherfucker because I, it has a range of 120 feet. Move up. He's only 90 feet. Move, move up towards, move your movement first. We all want to get closer. Get closer to him. Ooh. Mm. It's getting spicy in here. I just didn't want to die, so I can move here. Okay, and then I will cast fifth level Moonbeam. All right, so you put it right down on top of him. Yes, there's that. He doesn't like it. Too bad. (laughs) Uh, I'll get that in a sec. Anything else for you? Uh, That's it. We'll have this. It's kind of necrotic-ish, but we'll have this be a moonbeam. Cool. Jeswaldo. I'm going to kill a coin. Okay. (laughs) I bet you can. <clears throat> come on now, come on. There it is. There we go. Well, that's a natural oh. one. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, friend. So, instead, I'm going to use my um, bonus action to make a dagger attack. Okay. Twenty-five. You kill doing... a coin. I've killed a coin. My turn is over. Wink. Other flood. I would like to take my sword. Where am I? Do you have anything that can stop him? Like oh. hold him? Oh, like entangling? Like yeah. a. All I have is hail of thorns, but it doesn't entangle him. Yeah, never mind that. It binds yeah. him, doesn't it? DM, no. did you do a concentration save? 
Uh, he has to start his turn in the Moonbeam to take damage, oh, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, it's Athelflaed's turn, though. Yeah, I don't have anything that could do that. Uh, I was just going to go for the coins, because I don't have anything. Do you? Damage. Okay, you're welcome to. Well, Come hit him. Come hit him. I, I can do another lightning arrow, but that's about it. You've got the longest range, dude. Like, fucking will, pot shot him if you can. We will bonus action lightning arrow that bitch. Move into an appropriate line of sight. Pocket. And then... Nice. Fire at him. Twice. Get my mongo. Okay, so the, that takes over the first attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, my deck save. Um, he fails. Hey! So he takes 21 points of lightning damage. Mm-hmm. Plus 30. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, never mind. And, and then, then 13. Um, so. Well, that was I rolled that on the 25. That was my mistake. So the, the lightning arrow, if I'm, it replaces your attack, yeah. correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a brain fart, brain fart okay. on my side. And then 13, so. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, ooh, nice. 34 points of damage. He doesn't like that. Suck it, you piece of shit, but also leave me alone. <laughs> and he will, <laughs> at the end of your turn, move to here. And then on initiative count 20, the gate comes crashing shut behind Claire. Oh, Balsack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I and guys. then he casts a spell. Let's see, cast. Okay. Deck saves, please, friends. Okay. Twenty. All right, you guys. Ooh, terrible fireball. Twenty-six damage. Is the DC? Is the number eighteen? Is the DC? Bonus action. Seven objects to Jeswaldo. Con save for the two. He moved out of the way. He took arrow damage twice. Oh, good point. Haha. Thank you. Um. One of those is going to be higher. What was the damage for that fireball? 26. 26 full, 13 reduced. Yeah. It seems like that was a... It seems to almost knock him off of his feet. Nice. But he still succeeds in the con save. Um, What's he Waldo, con saving against? Uh, concentration. I'm go- um, we oh, have um, a great number of attacks. I do have a crit, and then I have a 26. Does 23 hit you, though? Um, a 23 does hit, but I will use Defensive Duelist. Okay, what does that bring it to? 27. 27? Wow. Okay. Damn. Did then the, the moon crit damage as well. be the only one that hits. No, because he didn't Used start a legendary start action to move, so he didn't yeah. start his turn with a moonbeam. Yeah. He's clever. He's slippery. Seven points of damage. Does well Seven there. points <laughs> of damage. I will uncanny dodge. Wow. All right. Frustrating. Oh, Cyborg's turn. Peter, when that no. fireball hit, how low to the ground was it? It was on the ground, so it if, extends. So if Cyborg was fifty feet up. Would it hit him? If he's fifty feet up. Then no. All right. Mm. Even if he air banged it in the middle of the spot, it wouldn't be able to hit everyone and you. It would right. still be. Okay. It would still just... be above it. So. Okay. Okay. So he sees that shock off. He's like, Claire! All right. And then... Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye. Yeah. All right, so then... Cyvor... Uh, Cyvor's going to move up to... Yonder? So is that... A second so this you is can it. do that yeah right i think so so i'm looking to be I'm looking to be 10 feet away from this guy just trying to make All sure right. that, uh, yeah that's where i want to be that's where i want to be uh and he is going to 
attack with the whip. 18 to hit. Hits. Excellent. I'm going to burn a uh, feature uh, okay. using my superior technique. I'm going to lose my second attack and my bonus action to give Claire uh, like one. Wait, hold on a second. You looking at commander strike? Yeah, it's looking at commander strike, but I don't. She doesn't get a move. She gets an attack, or does she? Right. It is a. It is a weapon attack. Yeah, yeah. You mean it was like one weapon attack? Okay, yeah. No, so I don't, I don't want to do that because she's not in range. Correct. Change. <laughs> um, however, I will. Uh, oof. yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, burn my key point and do a stunning strike on you. Mm hmm. Thought that might be coming. I have yeah. 18. A 19. 18. An 18. Okay. That still is still eight points of slash. Yeah, still, still, still eight points of slashing, though. Uh, so, yeah, you, you beat the, the, the DC 15. Uh, and. And a con save. Another con save. Oh, that's true. That's Got a true. 12. That'll work. All right, and then I'm going to follow yeah. that up with another uh, whip attack. Forest. 14 won't hit. Nope. Uh, and then I'm going to take the remainder of my uh, movement and fly back about the, what, 5, 10 feet? I think I can do that. Yeah. All right, that's me. Claire. Maris? Maris. Maris. Oh! <laughs> Dr. Scott! <laughs> Sorry. Can you, oh can you, can you, can you um, delete that fireball, Peter? Certainly. Thank you. Really um, uh, okay, well, Maris is, like, very low on hit points. She has four hit points. So Jinkies. I need... To drink some. Uh, you don't have any like potion. massive healy spells for everyone. Uh, not that don't take like an important spell slot that we need to bring someone back to life. Step away from your idiot husband. Bring that sunlight closer. I dare you. Ew, so rude. Also, he's not an idiot. He's brilliant. <laughs> How dare you? Also, absolutely bring that sunlight forward to that son of a bitch. But. Oh, yeah, totally, mm. totally, totally will. Um, yeah, I I mean, I could do... Could you do mass cure wounds, maybe? I could do, like yeah, I could do one mass cure wounds. But then I'm do done it. with my fifth level slots, so... That's it. Uh, okay. Hey, no, that's... So everyone gets 19 points. So it's everyone gets 19? Um, beep, boop, pop. Except Jade. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. Guys. You'll never need to be healed again. Yeah. No. Okay. I take I it as a it. sign of respect to get focus fired. So. What's your spellcasting modifier? Plus eight. True. Or sorry, plus four. Okay. From Strad von Sarovich, you should take that as a compliment. <laughs> no shit. Um, Frustrating, but a compliment, yeah. Where's the dumb dumb? Okay, hold on. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Six right behind Claire. That's as far as I can get. Gotcha. Um, yeah, at the end of your turn, he will move out of the range. Akanta. My turn. You are playing you against a very me. mobile enemy. I'll just point You're, that out. You skipped me. Skipping Claire, sorry, sorry, I keep getting me. one ahead. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Ah, I don't like how fast he is. Um, I, I need to get up in his face. Um, all right, I will move 30 feet. I will bonus action. Misty step. Wow, yeah, you will. Bring it. <sighs> um, Smite that I, I, I fucking hope so. 15 no. is not gonna hit, oh my God. I will try again. Do you have advantage. Oh, I do? Why do I have advantage? 
because I'll give you mine. Oh, okay. So, well, I rolled a 10, so. Okay, um, I will well, try again, because I, I rolled a 15 and a 10 on that first attack, so that's that's that. So I'm rolling again. <sighs> this is really, really disappointing. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I'm Woo! so mad. Dice, tell a story. Dicey! Get back here where I can hit you, you piece of shit! <laughs> All I'm, right. I'm done. I got that. All right. I have a health potion and I have a. I have one cure wounds who needs it. Uh, move your moonbeam. She can do that as a bonus action, yes. how far I can move it. Does the sunlight do anything to him then? Can like right next to He hates it. He seems to do whatever he possibly can to avoid starting his turn there. So. Can I, can I, can I put, right, can I just drop it on top of him? I can move it up to 60 feet. You Stop can. Yes. Yes. And he will <laughs> call out in pain. And then, so that's my bonus action. You go ahead and roll your damage for the moonbeam. Okay, do I need to, since I cast it at the fifth level, so the first time. 1d10 for a slot up above the second. So you 2d10, 3d10, 5d10 damage. <laughs> that's what we like to hear. Five. Twenty-five points of radiant damage. He looks very unhappy by that, and you can see his flesh begin to warp and distort this sort of perfect angular, handsome face. Um, and the as it is normally um, continuing to reform, this time it looks like the flesh that starts to peel off and hang there doesn't reattach itself. He does need to constantly. Not so beautiful anymore, huh? I have a 20, so I do half, but even so, the effects are still noticeable. And then, if anybody needs a potion, I can do that. Otherwise, I'm good. So I moved a little bit. Hurt him. Do something to hurt him. I don't think I have anything else that can reach that far. Nice. I can try to cast another moonbeam spell. No, you don't uh, need to. But I mean, it'll just, yeah, yeah. I don't, otherwise, I don't have anything that can reach that far. That's the only thing I have. Sorry, Peter, the con save was for the concentration, not to save against Moonbeam. Right. It still has yeah. a, is 20. I can't even, I can't even get him with my handy dandy eye. Can you get eye through eye. the bars? Oh, yeah, what about how, how tall is that wall? Can you make that ledge so that people can get up to there? Ooh. The, oh, the walls are about 50 feet high. Oh, those walls? So if she did the, the bone walls, yeah. Yeah, so if she did the bones of the earth underneath it and punched it up, would that break the courtyard wall? Uh uh no, you might have better luck trying to do that to lift the portcullis, though. Ah, okay. And it's also level six, so it would take my level six spell slot. Gotcha. Yeah. Well. Other than trying to heal somebody, that's that's all I've got that can get that, anywhere near him. I can use, I can use all my movement and get as close to Maris as possible. Heal Maris, yeah. It's not a bad idea. I'll say that. Because Maris has got the sunlight. Oh yeah, I know. Save no. the cleric, save the world. No, yeah. I can. No, I'm I can saying use my, the the um. Well. I can use my cure wounds. I can Maris use it once for long move. Rest. So anyway. So I can, yeah, I can use that on Maris. Cool. Nice. Bam. There we go. 10 points. Yay. Half a flood, it's your turn. 
It is indeed my turn. I'm going to scooch my booch so I have better line of sight on that bastard. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on him. I say again, Hunter's Mark. And then I'm going to... I almost fired my short sword. I will fire my longbow. <laughs> fire my short sword from the longbow. Oh, God, I wish. <laughs> so Both double 22s. <laughs> and then the extra D. Come on, yeah. Play it in. So that's 19, 24, 27. 27. All right. Ooh. You're Suck starting it. to look hurt. And another cold Good. save. <laughs> Another two of them. In yeah. Fact. Yep. Suck it, bitch. The coins drop. Yay! Now what am I going to do? And he moves to here. Get me up. Son of a beach. I assume that does not trigger attacks of opportunity. Does not. Fuck! He's starting to look very hurt. And Good. maybe and very concerned about the sunlight. But we have another spell slot, so let's fireball again. No. Kiting is working. <laughs> so why not change the plan? No! <laughs> it's where it's gonna be. Fuck. So that's a confine Maris. 25 damage again, so. 12 on a save. Do they get any sort of cover from the wall or fireball ignores? Nope. Uh, yeah. Always fireball. Do I still have inspiration? If you, if you haven't uh, used it, you used it. I don't know. I, I think you do. I don't remember you using it yet. I don't think I've used it yet. Yeah, no, because I call, I didn't call it at the right time. So what was our um, save? <laughs> I'm using 18. my inspiration. 18. Eighteen is the number, yes. And then I'm going to use my. I get a D six. Oh. 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 You needed that enough. too. <laughs> Twelve points of fire. Maris, right. you take twenty-five. Maris. Unfortunately, you made a con save though, not a deck save. You know, she made oh. her deck save earlier. Oh. Sorry, that's my her bad. con save for concentrating on sunlight. No, I can't see it's a deck save. I don't oh, see I a deck save either. I missed it. Oh, I messed up. Sorry. Unacceptable. Do what I is your deck save? What is your dexterity saving throw number? So it would have it's just been. plus three. Yeah, Oof. so it would have been a 15. 15. So 25 points of fire damage to Maris. Oof. Do I take any damage? You take 12. 12. Bear, bear. 12. Is Maris still up? Barely. Oh. All right. His turn is over. Cyvor, you're up. So it is. I am? I am. All right. I am. All right. Cyvor is going to move. So, uh, moving towards him. Oh. Make sure that I'm not dick in my distance here. So, I can't think he's a con save as well. So it's 40 feet. So, sorry, what is a can't need a con save? Moonbeam. 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 Oh. Alright. And. Do what you're going to do, Cyborg. I'm, I'm a working, I'm a working. Alright, so. Whip crack. Whip crack. 1818. 18. Air hits. 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 So he can take uh, 13 points of magical whip cracky damage. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, Done. I'm going to go ahead and use. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my maneuvers uh, and expend a superiority die. I need you to make a strength saving throw really yes i have a i 
I have a success. <laughs> Fine then, you have a success. All right. Um, damn it. Okay. Um, Y'all, I, I don't like that. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Well, then I will roll the extra d8 anyway, because you have to take the damage, even though you're not knocked prone. Junior. So take an extra five damage on top of that. So a total of 18 damage from Cyborg, and that is my turn. It's not looking happy. Oh. Maris, you're up. These metal bars stand in your way. Okay. Um, well, I need to get healed. I only have eight points. So... You should still have one regular healing potion. I have a potion of healing greater. If it matters to what you guys are doing at all, as Maris activates the sunlight from the amulet, it stays on it stays on regardless of whether she's holding it or it's just <gasps> Oh, that's ah, good to know. Okay. Please. What's the space like in between the two bars? Wide, but it, it, like not super skinny like you could reach your arm through it or something but you what about what about a gnome it. any um anything but a tiny creature would not be able to pass through it's like just enough the that designers have seen arrows. halflings <laughs> <laughs> this would Rude. be when we would need to use the pseudo dragon uh, you're smaller than half oh, wait so once she activates the amulet can't you're she perfect a conta can't you just chuck it yeah Could. Uh, chuck it. I just chuck it? Yeah, I'm a chuck, chuck it. Chuck it at me. I'm gonna go as close as I can, which is only here, and then throw it as far as I can. I was like, what's the I think those are, are the bars that it. you just walked yeah, so through. What's, so what's yeah, the... you can't walk any further, so. What? Make a, what's, uh, what's, what's uh, a chucking range? Make a strength. Yeah. What's my chucking range? Make a strength check. See how strong you are. Mm, I'm like jacked, so. Do it. Me? Fifteen. Fine, fifteen. Um. Can I have it? <laughs> let's see. That's pretty good. I was gonna say forty feet. Okay. Tits. Hey, though. Let's... And yeah. Strahd is now in sunlight again. Uh-huh. Maris, we're gonna double up your token, just have one of them be the thing for a second. <laughs> yeah. Great. Easy I'll, uh, enough. Yeah, Let's... I'll put a another thing down to do there to represent that in a second. Yeah. In the meantime, it is Claire's turn. So should I pick that up or should I attack him? He is going to move there at the end of the oh, turn. Well. So. Get up. <laughs> okay, um, I will well, run can you twenty get feet. Close enough to him, or no? No, at, at this point he's too far away from me. So I will pick it up. That's twenty feet for me to go grab it. So it is okay. now on my person, and then I will run ten plus another thirty feet, so forty feet towards him with it on my person. Okay. Uh, and get myself to here. Wow. That's right. Very nice. Go ahead and legendary work your ass out of that. Anything else? Um, if I could come up with something clever to say, I would, but I'm not as quick-witted as Jezwaldo, so I, like I just think angry thoughts. Son of a bitch. What's <laughs> dashing? All right. He is going to end his, at the end of his turn. Let's make sure I'm measuring this. Oops. But the uh, is the aura possible to put on her? Oh, I did. I'm I very sorry. Um, I forgot to make it visible. Didn't you, didn't you just legendary move? Yeah. Oh, he did it again. He does it three times. Oh wow! Let the DM DM Jade. So I'm scared. Man. It's Akantha's turn. What are you scared Died. of? Died. Nothing will Died. ever pop up again. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. This was the epic battle that we wanted. Come on, man. <laughs> One of those legendary right creatures in D and D. It's gotta feel just hard. Keeps running away. We jumped through an exploding church window. Come on. And then got exploded <laughs> ourselves. Twice. Yeah. This is a good time. Okay. So I can get that sucker open. I was about to say I can cast bones of bones of the earth. Um can you do it right underneath the bars and like I should. I think I can. Hold on, let me post this in the chat so y'all can see it. Uh, uh, you cause on the ground that you can see within so range. Five feet and a half, thirty. So it sounds like I can pick. So I should be able to shoot the the bones underneath the portcullis and raise it up. She raised it up. I'm sorry. So we could destroy. Are you gonna do that? Us. Yes. All right. Yes, the straw is out of the my... The pillars of Earth move up. Yeah, well, no. he is. He's barely... He's being a I'm just going to cast yeah. it so you'll see that it's cast. So, so you can cause up to six pillars. How far away is Strahd? Super far. If I could shove one up his ass, I would no, cut so, off my right arm and sell it. You only need... You, it's 100 yes. feet away. So you only need one. It's 120 range. You could put one pillar under the pillars and then put the other five around him to encase him in the stones. He can pass through them, though, can't he? He passed oh. through the walls yeah. of his castle. Of his can he castle. pass through the walls of her spell? You don't know. Can that. he pass through the walls yeah. of Acantha? And no. the more and the more times we make him legendary action, the less legendary actions he has, at least for this turn. And it's a might as well do it. Where else range? are you gonna put him? I mean, right? <laughs> Perfect. I'll do that. I'll use one for the portcullis, and I'll put the other around Straw. It's got a hundred and twenty foot range. Are you? You're, so you're putting him around him? Yeah, as pin, tight as I can in. possibly get. Uh, if one happens to go up his butt, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes a difference. Do you lift him up with one, or do you just surround him? Thirty We're feet out. up in the air doesn't seem super. Yeah, and he'll just helpful. fly. Yeah, yeah just, so no, just, just around him, just in case him, like yeah. as tight as you can possibly get it. Mm. Like turn that man into a, a sausage casing. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like she wants to uh, grape squeeze him as best as best she can she with those pillars. Like a grape. No, you just yeah. you just doing some like tough earth bending on him, just like. <laughs> Leave like a little bit of room for me to get in there with my sword, maybe. But uh, I'm yeah, as long as there's like... sword and arrow space, that's all that matters. I mean, ten... I'm afraid he's like a fart. If there's too much, space, but if he can, gonna, like, well, he's gonna so like... Peter, can he like walk through that? We'll find yeah, out. He's, he's... Oh. They're five foot diameter, so he's pillared in. But that means I can't hit him either. Well, it's no, okay, we'll also, worry about it when we get to him. It okay. also means that you could potentially get to him. If that's true. Don't, with that's the fair, sunlight that's and just sit okay. there and have a little chat with him with the sunlight. Yeah. And the moonbeam. Hey, dude. And I have moon a magic beam. word. I have uh, a magic word. Uh, 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 bonus action moonbeam, too. Move it. Polymorph. Just throw <gasps> that out there. Uh -huh. She got polymorph. Can you polymorph yourself? I can. I think I can polymorph anything. Anyone. Yeah, I think I actually could polymorph myself. You used an action though, right? So we're. Yeah, I can't do it this round, yeah. but uh, right. I am gonna move. And... I do want to move the moonbeam on so top of Strahd. You cannot okay. quite make it that far. You have. You can move it sixty feet. But I'll move it sixty. You feet. are gonna need to do a Constitution saving throw. Uh, I don't think you ever did one for your last turn. Um, the best way to use polymorph is to put it on somebody who's about to die and give them a whole hell of a lot of hit points. Yep, that's oh. that's the plan. is a beautiful thing. Moonbeam. <laughs> I was gonna say sorry, Alimus. Uh, Moonbeam fades. All right, I'll just recast it later. All right, bye, Moonbeam. No worries, no worries. It'll There's one though. <laughs> bye, the gate is up. Lord. Gate is up. The gate is up. I look down at Alimus. I'm sorry, my friend. One, do, 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 and I will move, and I will bonus action move, and I will action move to do 90 feet. To okay. There. Oop. And I go, as I go by Maris, I go, amazing! And I just went past her. Bathed in sunlight. Out the flood, you cannot see hey. him at the moment. Yes, correct. 
But if my if I move my if I scoot my boot to just through the gate, <laughs> then I can definitely see him. He's got my hunter. No, he is surrounded by these pillars at the moment. Oh, you're right, son of a monkey. I'm okay. Then I will just right. I will I will diggity dash. Like move in? No, move in. Hold an action. The minute he shows his face, shoot him. Yeah, I could do that. That's what I'm gonna do. And I shall. Oh, I'll only get one. Yeah, that's okay. I will hold my action then until I see his stupid, fugly face. Okay. It is you rather fugly right now. See it almost immediately it's, it's... as he uses his action <gasps> to climb to the top of the pillar with oh, his claws. So now I can. So now I can shoot him. Up goes the bear. Yes. Does a twenty-one hit? Twenty-one does. Eighteen. So he does ten plus then the whatever it was. Hunter's mark. It's five. Plus five for my hunter's mark. Okay. <laughs> he has no more legendary actions. Thank you. He has used his entire but it's his three turn next. moving. But it's his turn next. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Turn. So he gets them all back. But still, he does. He gets them all be back. And but, it is now his turn. But for one turn, we made him use... Uh, yeah, he, ha he had to work for it. Yeah. Strahd starts his turn in sunlight, which means he takes 20 points of radiant damage. Oh surpassing God. the nine hit points he currently has. <gasps> Vampires what? have a feature called Misty Escape, in which they cannot be killed except inside their coffins. However, the only thing that counters this, he cannot in. transform into his mist form and escape down below the castle if he's in sunlight. Yes! <laughs> so you see him yes! standing there as his turn starts. His flesh starts to melt away and peel up like little bits of ash kicking up from a fire. You see at first rage and confusion as this ancient creature f begins to feel himself pass back into the abyss. The dark orbs of his eyes begin to wither then and sink into his skull. And you see for a moment, the last moment that anything is still within his body, the immense bit of rage passes as there is a brief moment of release. Thunder strikes, the wind blows, relief passes over his face, and then <sighs> his, the entirety of his form is gone in the wind on top of a Canthus pillar. Mm. Oh my god. Yes. The rain stops <gasps> suddenly. The clouds above Barovia begin to swirl like a maelstrom. And where there was just once dim light, shadow of moonlight, or some sort of light, you almost forgot how to discern which one it is. You realize for the first time, you can tell that it is morning. You have fought through the night. The sun begins to come out and the clouds part for the first time. You see Barovian stone, Barovian trees. You see Barovia in sunlight for the first time in generations. Strahd von Sarovich has been defeated. The bats fly off different directions. You hear the howling of wolves as all the creatures under his effect dissipate and run. Even a vampire spawn or two inside you think you can hear creeping, running, fleeing, some burning up in the sun. Everywhere around Barovia, people leave their homes, looking up. Kids ask their, their parents, what is this? And they have to teach their kids for the first time not to stare in the sun. 
as the morning dawns. The Silver Seven have freed Barovia from Strahd von Sarovich. Congratulations, all of you. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh Linus, it's that bright searing light is the sun and not uh, hell that you wake up to. As I assume you run and cast yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as, uh, as, like, as Strahd is dusted, we're like, back to Linus! Yeah, yeah. no, Maris immediately runs over oh and revives him. I open my eyes, I didn't know how you look up to Maris and say, I died! <laughs> hands him the ewer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Oh my god. Jeez. Okay. Well, everybody else is over with the Limus and Athelflaed is definitely back with Akantha and like picking her up and hugging her. No. Yeah. No. Full, full group huddle. Full group huddle. Guys. Group hug. Yeah. So go stand oh. in the sun. Yeah. Yay. Come stand in the sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> the light's back on. We finally did it. And then Elimus oh becomes a lich and takes over. <laughs> oh, uh, of <laughs> big, big, big embrace with Maris. Yes. <sighs> we did it. I know. Maris is crying. She's just like uncontrollably yeah. weeping. I can't, I can't believe we made it through. I, uh, I, 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 gr I wait for a hot second, let the two of them hug, and I'm like, okay, hold on. And then I give my own hair, my hug to Maris. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, and then just Walter can have one next. <laughs> well done, Commander. <sighs> yeah, I totally knew we could do that. <laughs> yeah, I never <laughs> doubted it for a second. Do we win? Team. Hey, team. It's wow. the whole team. The whole team. We win until the next time. Until the next time. Don't ruin it. <clears throat> Fuck. Let what me do, we do now. <sighs> I guess we'll. How do we even leave? Oh. We live here well, now. We know Yay. a mage. We know a mage who's got a really great celebration. That's true. So. I was just thinking, can we go see if um Mari and the others are still alive? Please. Mm -hmm. And but not Helga, because fuck her. Well, we will find Helga. Um, yeah, but, <laughs> but a also fuck her. conscious but um not barely conscious Esmeralda and an unconscious Victor. There is Carnage. Mary is nowhere to be found. But they say that she left. Right. She fled after holding off the trap that was set for you should you try to save them. Mm. Um, uh, 15 points um, of uh, lay on hands uh, for each Esmeralda and um, uh, Victor. And when I heal Esmeralda, I'll just pull her up into a hug and say, I'm really fucking glad you're alive. <laughs> <sighs> Victor will be very jealous of the hug, but you know. <laughs> like, wake I'll him up with Victor true love's kiss. I'll, I'll go to him second. Hug <laughs> for Esmeralda first. The change in Barovia <laughs> turned Victor into like Tom Cruise or something. <laughs> His hair. He's like a babe Adam, now. Adam Driver. <laughs> Oh, See, yes. that's not so bad. <laughs> I was gonna say he he might even be more attractive than Otto now. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, well, <laughs> good job, guys. What do you think? Uh, we ooh. stick around here and rebuild, or do we go back to our homes? Well, well my home is wherever you are, so. <laughs> no, I feel like we should all maybe just get on a ship and. See where it takes us. That would be so fun, <laughs> Honeyman. <laughs> well, uh, we have no idea with where this puts Barovia after all this is done. Like, is this still a demi plane or whatever? I don't really know that in character. I'm gonna ask. I ask that in a way that doesn't reveal my out of character understanding <laughs> of how Barovia works. Um, well, what the hell? But I. Regardless, the the hold of Argenvost, Commander. I know is here. Um, I um. You guys can go on your honeymoon if you want. I think I'm gonna stick around for a little while and see how much other bullshit is left behind, and 
maybe see if I can get this building back up and running and I don't know if anyone else wants to join up. I'll be here. We'll obviously come back and help you. Take the time you need, but any... We will. My, my, uh, my home is always your home, Maris. You know that. And all of you. I will need to go and report to the Towers of High Sorcery. Fair enough. You know, I think that there was a lovely little house in the Barovia that maybe, oh no, we burned that. <laughs> well, no, there the is, milk, there's though? a windmill. No, we burned that too. We burned that too, we burned that Oh wait, too. though, the beautiful, the beautiful uh, mansion in uh, Valla, no, we, that no, 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 we burned that. <laughs> burned that. I think there might you be some cleaning up that needs to be done what in Velaki, but we'll get to that eventually. Yeah. That's have, an have excellent a nice, idea. Have a nice time at a winery. We could work and live at the winery. Oh, yeah, we could. They're We're good friends with the Martikovs. They like yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. Like a Maris Merlot and a. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of this, Tamina. <laughs> We're ready. Oh my god. If you could come up with a wine that starts with G, I'd be very impressed. A Gewürz, Tamina. It's a sort of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she she meant it. A Jezwala Gewürz, Tamina? Glera is a great Spanish grape, too. Um, I, while well, I don't necessarily say this in this moment, um, at some point in the next several days, I will be turning this castle l just under literally upside down searching for the sun sword um because i want my fucking lightsaber yeah. back <laughs> so a couple of things that will freebies for when the silver seven return um among them being the um the shield that is the herald the official herald of the silver dragon is a shield that gives you it's a plus two shield that gives you plus two to initiative it's a shield of warning <laughs> fuck yeah um, nice i'll take there that. is a helm of brilliance <laughs> yeah. there's a darren's instant fortress and a lot of wealth. We will talk and about all, a few of those things. All the wealth. Yeah. <laughs> Elimus will probably be surprised when um, casting identify on the fortress and the symbol goes off, causing him to take 8d10 damage or something like that. But at this point, this <laughs> one rude Ooh. last surprise from Strahd. <laughs> yeah. But um, that guy. no, yeah, I'll, I'll give a little, um, you know. Kudos to you, DM, for running yeah. an amazing yeah. game. Yeah. God damn, that was amazing. DM! Thanks, guys. It is a no mean feat to take yeah. a group from level one all the way to the end of a module. You certainly didn't miss an opportunity to impress us. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. and that battle at the end was as exciting and as epic as I hoped it would be. It Good. felt like... Yeah. Well, felt like reason. fighting one of D&D's big bads. I legitimately... Yeah started crying a little bit when he died. <laughs> my anxiety was I, like, oh my I God. knew. Oh God. The relief. Yeah. When you play a wizard and it's a powerful wizard, you know you're going to get focused. And like, I knew yeah. it was coming. I put the globe up thinking that might help me. That's the first it thing did. I did. It didn't, didn't help at all. For so long. No, oh, yeah. I mean, like you. So long. They forced him to like come in close. Yeah. And, yeah. And he he did, which he took me to 12 of, yeah. hit points in his first round. So I was just, I was messed up after that. I couldn't do anything after that. I knew I was going to get focused. I was sitting there thinking, how could I prevent being focused? I thought, well, I've got the globe. Can that really do anything? Can it stop? But obviously it didn't. But you know, <sighs> I knew I knew it was going to be tough for Alimus. Yeah, and it always will be. <clears throat> but yeah, great job. Very very good. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we're at the well, end. Good job of it. to you guys too. It, this is a point where I. I think when you play big bad bosses, sometimes you have to get to a point where you're like the party has to be just has to do it. Like I didn't have an idea of how you guys were going to win that. And I'm like, how are we going to get them to start in the sunlight? How are they not going to have to chase them down into the crypts? Yeah. Akantha gets MVP. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Being Strahd in those pillars yeah. was what did it. it I mean, like he forcing him into that sunlight i was yeah. like how are they gonna trap him or how are they gonna hold on to him or yeah. grapple him i had no idea and he had you... to climb up to use his action to climb up and that's it he was stuck man he had to yep. use his yeah his legendary action he can he has a climb speed so he could climb 30 feet up but he still couldn't he, that was his last one he had Amazing. to start his turn with sunlight and Athelflaed's held action choosing to hold that action and attack with that bow brought him under the 20 hit points that he automatically loses starting in sunlight. So all of those uh, things coming together were just the right team. thing. And yeah. 
did it. So congratulations to all of you. That's I hit him really, once. Really, really, really... <laughs> I made it's it. It's a hard fight, and this sunlight. is the thing. Like this is this is Strahd unamped or anything. You guys are top level. This is I didn't buff him at all. He just is he... a tricky tactician. I dispelled you know? invisibility. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know. I'm not saying, I'm not saying go everyone Go me, is right, guys. Go me. I'm just saying, when it came down to the line, I was yeah, like, how is this going to get to the point yeah. where it can end? And yeah. Like, yeah, you, at some point, you have to outthink him, or at least push him so that his resources are expended, that he has no yeah. choice left yep. in his bag. And, and you have to all do that. it through the process of one turn, because he gets them all back at the beginning again. So, and Greater invisibility yeah, yeah, is nasty. Right with legendary yeah. actions so fuck it so, is i suppose at the end of like the sort of like final thing had i mean alimus would find a way to go home so he heads back mm -hmm. to crin and then realizes <laughs> what's happened and then spends the rest of his life trying to study how to get back to where barovia is i suppose because this is a completely different he spends probably his rest of his life in in study trying to find where this Barovia is so he can go and visit his friends again. Maris and I go on a quest to find Mary. Yeah, we do. We don't let that go. No. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Maris drinks a lot of wine. We go to a lot of winery tours. <laughs> <laughs> Name their imagine. first son, Elimus. I imagine that Cyvor and Claire would probably set up. Like, yeah, we're going to set up shop here. Yeah. And, um, Build up. Gonna recruit nice. some people. Uh, yeah. Gonna see if Esmeralda wants to join up. I'll even begrudgingly see if Victor's interested and uh, interested probably in need to way? go. What? Interested need to hire an HR rep. Yeah, no. yeah, I do need to hire an HR rep. Um, <laughs> just well, get like, auto. auto. Interested as in uh, interested or? What? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> I said, well, we'll how just... interested? But then obviously, I remember. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> And then someday, far in the future, when Deswaldo is old and gray, he suddenly disappears in his chair one day, and all that's left is the luck blade, which well, I you were gonna makes its way somehow to hell. So, <laughs> and Maris is a like, way of what the fuck? A way of Elturel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you died long ago. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, she didn't. Whoa. She's El half Elven. Liver, no, no. liver trouble from all the wine. Oh, no, 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 no. Cirrhosis. Well, no, no, okay. No, no. <laughs> well, okay. Well, while poor Giswaldo has to deal with his alky wife, I definitely am going to have to say wow. that the A team goes off. Wow. Absolutely does like a Legolas Gimli adventure time piece. Oh, hell yeah. the end of Return of the King. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. And then into like the indexes at the appendices at the end. Bye, guys. Hey, yes, yeah, it's Mary. It's 18 for life because yeah, Acosta's was... grandmother has passed away, so she doesn't really have yeah. much back from where she came from. <laughs> so she doesn't really want to go back. You know, she's got Aethelflaed as her as her best friend, and so now it's listen. 18. That's because what, what, what is I'm it? Very happy Why for no? you, 18. Okay. <laughs> Wow, first of all, this abuse that I am taking is like very unwarranted, and I feel very shamed. And I'm holding my mic like this to make a point. I don't think it is. Okay, so the funny also, thing is, is, I don't think that mic's even on, Liz. What? <laughs> anyway, you can enjoy a glass of wine or two and not be an alcoholic. Damn. Also, I'm sorry, the A team, y'all were kind of mean. I said it. <laughs> this is an A and B adventure. Uh, oh. We're gonna need you to see your way out. Thank you. I'm mean, saying mean girls. Um, <laughs> hey, good night. Love you guys. I gotta go. Back. <laughs> in back. rehearsal in the morning. So. Oh, oh yes, I know everyone's got to probably yeah. dip out. I know. Yeah, yeah I'm being really abused, want to end. so I'm but, leaving. But yeah. thank you. that's my love language. Okay, it. just deal with it. Oh. Yeah, just don't journal about it. It's fine. <laughs> Promise you'll come back, Liz. We're gonna miss yeah. you. Yeah, I'll be back so very much. soon. Don't come back to Don't come back to Barovia though. Come back somewhere. <laughs> we'll see if I come back. My yeah, that board. mic's not on. You gonna on. be nice to me, Teresa? That mic is not on. <laughs> You're gonna call no. me an alcoholic? <laughs> Probably. I think she's muted. I can't hear her. Very Liz. I, Say something. I can see that I'm lit up on Zoom. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a doctorate, goddammit. <laughs> You're gonna be the best damn dentist ever. <laughs> oh. Yeah! Okay.
king. I'm go I really don't know. Yeah. Go the fuck to sleep. Yeah. Good job. You were okay, amazing. Bye.